With a... With a... God. Award-winning cover by our award-winning Gwendy B. Look at my two, my two goddamn Ennies for this book. Award-winning stream. <laughs> yeah, that, that means they're award-winning by association, right? Uh... And I hope you unionize, if possible. Y'all can do it. Believe in yourself. Oh. Oh no, a Azra says, I can see people talking but not hear them. I'm not sure if that's oh, no. on their end or our end. Uh-oh. Oof. That's unfortunate. That's a that's a no. Um, that's a that's a well, sad. Sad. Can you hear Jess? <laughs> it might be that the audio input is like grabbing a different um can't hear anyone. We're professional. That's weird. Which is better because no we one can hear me say whole, that. We gotta do the whole intro again. Oh wait, weird part I can hear is you. Is it gonna wait. hear Gwendy? Me? How about now? Can making... you hear us now? Can you hear me now? What? It looks like my mic was, uh, it forgot oh. who my mic was. Oh, weird. Uh, okay, well, hey. uh, well, we got, from what I can I see. Can hear... Oh. Jess. Me. Jess. Jess. Oh, Jess. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Jess is a completely um, okay. different I was like, person. Jess, is it here? Jess. What? Oh, <laughs> Dad, the entire intro was just like dead silent, except for Shit. us like being the peanut gallery. Let's do that again. I like Welcome that you say that as if our show isn't already a peanut gallery. <laughs> Oh Welcome back to Three we Flings, the, the only show on oh. Twitch with three level 20 Tieflings. Three Flings began as a collection of one-shot adventures from the Uncaged Anthology, and now we are playing one-shots from the Any Award winning, the multiple Any Award winning, Uncaged Goddesses. If this is your first episode or your 106th, welcome. We have very little continuity. Tonight, we are playing The Golden Lady and a King of Dragons by Margaret May, which features our Any Award winning cover girl. It has some content warnings. I already dropped them in the thing, but I'll say them again. It will feature, I don't, yeah, there we go. A depiction of imprisonment, graphic violence, mind control, and abusive work culture. And so if any of those are triggers for you, feel free to duck out. And if you are currently experiencing abusive work culture, I hope that you can unionize or get out of there soon because been there and that sucks. So who wants to give us a previously on, or no, not yet. Let's meet our teeths. Starting with welcoming back Draz. Hey, hey Draz. Now that Hello. everybody can hear all of us, tell us about your teeth. Yeah. Hello, I'm Draz. I play Victoria, a resident uh, Gloomstalker Ranger that likes to do the shooty shoot with a crossbow with a pet direwolf puppy, Toast. And soon, another, another figure. We'll, we'll meet them later. Another hand touches the right. beagle. <laughs> uh, Ink, tell us about your teeth. Hi, as usual, uh, my name is Ink. I am playing Ophelia, you a magical girl, Pact of the Tome, Warlock, Shadow Sorceress Ophelia. Uh, she has a frog named Fred and an infriend named Faroshki, and I just realized I accidentally left the angry eyebrows on from last time I played! Oh no! He's oh. so angry! He's an angry foggy. <laughs> He's, He's upset about workers' rights and how they're yes. not being. Uh, Unionize for okay. Fred. Do it for yeah. him. Do it for him! Do it for Fred! <laughs> <laughs> oh and now, uh, any award-winning illustrator and art director, Gwen, yes! tell us about your teeth. We love to embarrass our friends. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm playing Adara, a resident fighty bitey tiefling. She has no magic, but she won't let that stop her from starting trouble with her warg puppy crouton. Hey. 
So, who wants to give us a previously on Three Flings? We played Bonds Wasted Away by Garrett Colon. I misheard you, so I thought you said Bongs for a minute, and I was Bongs, just... yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was but a weed. There was, uh, that was part two. Uh, yes, part two. Yes, so we only have to summarize the second part. So it opened with, um, we big. we met the corpse of Kipudo, uh, a big old uh, god mummy, um, th whose guts were actively being pillaged by a slod guy. Big um, frog. Yeah, big frog. Uh, Yagoral. That was Yagoral. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we we were like, hey, don't do that. Uh, and entered a fight. Yes. And and yeah. then we finished the fight. And then yeah, you uh, fought your girl. <laughs> you would. You had a yeah. second fight. And then there was a second fight. Uh, we found Talona. Um, and also Sirik showed up, and Talona, we were like, hey, there's this big old plague that's happening because of the Caputo corpse, we think, can you help? And Talona was like, meh, I guess. And then Sirik showed up and was like, you're gonna listen to her? Uh, you should listen to me, the King of Lies, instead. And we were like, ah, don't know about that one, chief. Uh, and then he was like, well, your funeral then, and summoned a thing that we then fought. But what it was, was it called like, again? Summoned it was Zazaluth. Zazaluth. Zazzle right? and it was our first CR30. It was a custom oh. stat block from Garrett, and it spanned uh, multiple pages. I think yeah, it was three pages. Actions. Yeah, there's a three-page stat block we had to fight. Uh, thanks, Garrett. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, then uh, Sam also said uh, we had some planetar friend. I uh, I had summoned our <laughs> weird little bastard wizard boy in his Pokeball. <laughs> uh, everyone was uh. there. Yes, everyone was yeah. there. Last episode. Shai, Shai continued her track record of uh, casting Summon Celestial to summon incredibly hot, awful men that Adara was just like, we could make out. Um, <laughs> I really can't. Mr. 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 <laughs> Mr. Steal your girl. The monster manual makes them all look like kind of douchey himbos. Which is to say, we love that for them. We yeah. love that. Hey, like, Margaret. You know, you know he's compelling. Chat, oh, our author is right here. So everybody say oh. hello. Hello. Um, oh my god. Um. Yeah. So uh, that's what we did last time. Yeah, that is totally worth a point of shared inspiration. If you are new to the show, any of these folks can use that inspiration as long as everybody else agrees. And also, you can use channel points to give anyone on your screen right now a critical success or failure. Just use a point and say if it's a success or failure and who gets it. Including the DM. That's also a thing. Yes. Yeah. So, so have a good time with that. Them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... You all got so much money after that adventure. <laughs> uh, Vittori wasn't there. But I want to ask, Vittori, what have you been up to? Um, I have no money. You know, like, the last time the three saw her, well, they were in the middle of trying to steal a diamond, and then she got isekai to lulz to me because of Brooke, you know, having bad decisions. So, like, after that was all resolved, Vittori went back to the party in the Feywild, and, or the Unsealy Court, and, you know, was just, like, trying to have a good time, and, um, uh, then suddenly, uh, well, no, not suddenly, um, she was talking with Ice about, like, how she's, like, trying to, like, start up, like, a detectiving, like, business kind of thing, and he was like, oh, you need a weird little girl, and she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? Anyway... Then some shit happened, uh, where Vittori had to go on another, like, there was like a murder mystery, and, um, so basically, to go back even further, Vittori was at the party to begin with because she had helped Ice out with a different, um, case that she had to solve, which involved a little girl's sister being killed, and she had to solve all that. She met the little girl again, and now... <laughs> she's um that pixie is now Vittori's intern basically and that pixie's name is Maya the Fae ooh good like it that's a joke just for Jess what is it a reference to because it sounds very Ace Attorney. <laughs> Phoenix's uh, sidekick is Maya Fae <laughs> that's unfortunate I love Oof. you so much <laughs> 
and um, be sure she gets hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, she loves hamburgers. <laughs> because um, yeah, Ace Attorney has a history of like giving the main character, whoever that is, a weird little girl, <laughs> whether that be Maya, Ho, um, Trucy, uh. So now Vittori Susato. Yeah. I still know nothing about Ace Attorney, and this is- I still know nothing about Ace Attorney or Cats, and this is the entirety of what the show is teaching me. It's just <laughs> weird when they, uh, are a spirit medium for, like, an adult woman, and they're- they yeah, it's, it's present, weird, and they're went... still wearing their little girl clothes oh, on an adult yeah. woman, and so they're, like, yeah. busting out of their child clothing, and you're like, ah, this is- this was a choice that you made. This was a choice, yeah. Yep. Oh. Hey, let's get started with this adventure, though. <laughs> Woo! The Vittori has uh, her her ace attorney intern. Yeah. Your ace ace intern. Ace intern. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, Maya now sits on Vittori's shoulder. Sweet. Oh, okay. Gwen, you want to go get him? I do. Go get him. I, you I forgot my fancy new dice. Uh, so I'll be right back. But you guys start the episode without me. I'll be right. Back. It's fun. <laughs> Pause for the any award-winning Gwendy B. <laughs> Behind the scenes, Gwen is always the one who is like, everybody make sure you have your dice! So so this is especially fun. This is poetic justice. <laughs> okay. So. Ophelia. Yes. When you are asleep, after your adventure, mm -hmm. you have a vision. Oh, a, lovely. A dark-skinned woman wearing a dress made out of golden coins. I'm back. I have to defend my honor. I have dice. I just had to get different ones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm super winded. Carry on. <sighs> um, you know what? Now that you're back, Adara, you get this part of the vision. Ophelia, hang on. Wow. Put a pin in that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Adara, uh, you, when you are asleep, have a vision of a beautiful, dark-skinned woman uh, wearing a dress of golden coins. Um, she looks almost made of gold. Her eyes are golden. And she mm. says, I have an offer for you, if you're interested. Uh -huh. She uh -huh. steps out of a tapestry that is sheer gold and pulls the tapestry aside to show you a door behind a massive gala stage where people are partying. Partying, partying, yeah. Ophelia. Party party. Yes. Now you hear the voice of this same woman, but what you see is a balding man. And you hear her Some voice downgrade. say- yeah, I was gonna say, what change? <laughs> You still see golden eyes in the darkness, and you mm -hmm. hear, he claws after my power. Power he does not understand. And this pale-skinned, bald man grins, and his flesh melts off of his face, and coalesces Yay! around a golden scepter. His hand is atop it, and there is a golden coin in top on top of the scepter. As his flesh curls around and melts, there is a coin. The coin glows. Nice. Great. No, that's uh, very attractive. Thank you. Vittori. Hello. You get a vision of a domed sanctum encircled with a deep glowing red trench and it smells of must decay and rot yay and, and you hear the visions just keep improving greed <laughs> runs rampant at the heart and then all of you it. see these glowing gold eyes and hear the words Break the enchantment and release me. Time is running out. And as the eyes fade, you see an arcane circle with six sigils arrayed around it. And they glow gold and then one by one turn to red, 
flash brightly like a fire and then go dark and you awaken. Yay! Hey, Gwendy, why did the goddesses let you have the nice dreams? Because uh, <laughs> I hit on them. Ooh. Uh, what a so, time. <laughs> did, you know how when you wake up from a dream sometimes and you just sort of have information that doesn't make any sense for you to have had in the dream? Like, oh yeah, I know that person. Uh, that was my childhood best friend. Insert name of person you've never actually met before. Right. Um, do we have... Do I have any sense of, like, where that location was or who the person talking to me was uh, in that same just kind of innate way that you get from dreams sometimes? Uh? You know the entire adventure? Is that what you're asking? I just want to know how I can where locate do we this. Go? Where's the quest? Where do I find it? Uh, Roll me a history check to locate oh it. And then I was, and I was like, like, I fall asleep in history, please. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna let well. you do it with advantage because you would know of uh the the person okay. that Ophelia saw, even though History. you didn't see him. Uh 18. Okay. So uh the tapestry and the stage, you would know that this is the heart of Odyssey Enterprises. One oh, of the Odyssey? the wealthiest imperial trading company. Oh, Ooh, shit. Interesting. So I probably have uh, either I I definitely own shit from them, and I've probably placed large orders with them from like, my time spent working in a tavern. Like, they're where all our fucking cups come from. Yep. Alright. Oh. Funny. Okay, uh, I'm but just going to ask. They're owned by Jorgen Reeve. Jorgen. Nice. Uh, I was going to ask, uh, does... Did the voice or the person in Ophelia's dreams sound uh, seem familiar in any sort of uh, recollection kind of way? Because she's read so much. Yeah, roll me a religion check. Ick, yay. Oh, I'm great at those. That's the one skill I have. Not constitution. Ugh. Oh, and my dice made me look like a liar. I got a 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you would recognize the voice you heard, or at mm -hmm. least the way... From context clues, you would have gathered that this was Joaquin, also okay. known as the Golden Lady and Goddess of Commerce and Trade, who was talking mm -hmm. to you. The okay. face that mm -hmm. you saw brought is one that pretty much everybody who has ever bought something from a trading boat would know as the reclusive Jorgen Reeve, also known as Lord of Coin and the King of Dragons. Uh, oh, yeah, because they call, what is it, coins, dragons, and water deep and shit, right? Yep. Yep, that's what Oh, it's. yeah, I forget about that, even if Victoria and Adara canonically, like, are you know, there. born and raised. Well, because it's one of those right. things where, like, how often do you think about currency it in this game? doesn't mean I'm from there. Yeah. But like, excuse me, put it on my fantasy Amex, I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Very um, interesting. does... Vittori know, like, can I do a check to see if Vittori knows where the fuck the location that she saw in her dream is? Because that is ominous as shit, and it's probably not on the material plane, but it might be, who knows. Mm -hmm. Well, you buy things from them. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, but like, you can also you can't you do stuff like, like that. The whole, like, red trench thing, though, like, that's, that's ominous as fuck. Uh, what check would that be, Jess? Um... Yes, religion, but maybe history. I always forget yeah, I that, like, a bonus in religion. I always forget that D and D doesn't have like a planes intelligence check, like it's Pathfinder does. It always yeah. throws me off. Yeah, um, that's a sixteen. Okay. Um, so you would see that this like domed sanctum looks very much reminiscent of uh the logo that you've seen on Odyssey Enterprises ships. But doesn't look like any building that you've seen there. Okay. You would get you've gathered that it's connected uh, to Odyssey Enterprises, mm. but it's not, you know, something you see on their marketing brochures. Okay. <laughs> so we can't go to this location. We just have to <laughs> find out if there's any information out there on where the to headquarters for this company is and go there instead. Okay, gotcha. Call their help center. <laughs> Customer service line. Alright, oh, 
first off, Victoria's like, I got a dream, and if everything that's happened in the last, like, year or so has taught me anything, it means that two other tieflings have had dreams as well, because there's no way that this was the only dream that got sent out to people. <laughs> so uh, she's gonna go find the other three flings. Uh, I would tell Idara definitively that uh, we had, that I had had a weird dream involving Joaquin, and the next town that we stop in, I would like to make a stop at uh, a temple and see if there's any people who worship Joaquin there, or like any merchants that we run into. Shit. Yeah, I had a dream about um, the Odyssey, like the store, uh, I you saying don't. Joaquin uh, sounds like one of the characters in my dream. Um, probably I I fucking know that Joaquin's like a gold lady. Uh, what what is I'm in religion? Um, what is the enterprise? I uh, don't oh, know like what that is. Odyssey Enterprise. Uh, they're a very very big store chain. Um, we bought all of our uh, cups and uh, chairs from them uh, at the tavern I used to work at. Um. I'm pretty sure my backpack is from them. Uh, also, socks. All of Adara's athleisure <laughs> was bought from. All the all the stuff you wear out really quickly. She just is like, yeah, I buy in bulk from Odyssey Enterprises for all my uh, socks and um, he, chargers. Is there anything that they don't sell? Because it seems like they have everything. I mean, there's like good versions of things that they don't sell. I don't know if you can get booze from them. You can probably get booze from them. I don't think they sell, like, the good shit. Uh, but, like, they have something of everything. So if you need something, you can get it from them. And it's probably fine. It's interesting. Never yeah. never heard of that. Very interesting. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You probably didn't do a whole lot of, uh, like, ordering uh, shopping no. from, you know, the graveyard you grew up in. It also doesn't, you don't really have to order a lot of things in bulk when there's two people. Where do you guys get all your gravestones from? That doesn't matter. Um, Local Mason? Yeah, yeah uh, I think <laughs> I, I, I think we should probably go find, like, the Odyssey Enterprises, uh, like, at least an establishment. Um, I don't know if they have more than one. I don't really know their deal. We just kind of, like, mail ordered from them. So I've never, like, been to okay. a storefront. Yeah. yeah, that is quite weird. Okay, yeah, we'll have to keep that in mind. Also, shout out, uh, shout out to everyone doing Joaquin puns in the comments. Y'all are my, y'all are my heroes. Speaking of workers' rights, shout out to my computer, which is making Slack message bangs because I forgot to mute my work Slack oh, before no. we started streaming. Well, we can't. Shout out to shout out to Slack. It's like adult Discord, but sad. Yeah. So, also, all of you wake up with a golden coin in your Ooh. pocket. Has a forward-facing image of Joaquin on one be, like side. And an image of a common marketplace on the other. And the edges oh. are imprinted with the words trade, exchange, barter, share. Oh no, this is a bit you misspelled. Annoying. You misspelled Char. Ha 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 ha! It's not always about Char! Disagree. I love how this is a notable thing to find in our pockets because at this point we have so much money that, like, yeah. it, would be, it would not surprise us. So, like, if we did not notice, we had one extra gold coin. I feel like, right? you, would, I feel like yeah, you would notice, though, if you, like, wake up and it's in your hand. So, yeah, you I think, you know, this one, because whenever you mention walking, it starts rolling around and doing a spinny spinny. Oh, shit. Uh, it, is it, like, trying to go anywhere in particular, or it's just, uh, like... Having a good time. Having yeah. a good time right now. All right. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm looking at the... Uh, the abilities of this, I'm like, damn, that's really good, but also I have only have three achievements left. Uh, okay, well. Oh, uh, spellcaster's cool. We love we, <laughs> we love casting spells here. <laughs> okay, so um, Submitting. okay, yeah, I I will definitely tell Adara that I uh, want to find the closest local town to either talk to someone at a temple or so we can try to see if we can find like a, a local merchant. Yeah, who will be find, able to direct us. Let's find the quest. I'm just gonna fast forward <laughs> and put you at the quest. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh shit, Vittori's here too! Oh, Hi, what? This is, this is my new intern, hello, this is Maya. She's she's a pixie. I, uh, she's, she's helping me detect. You can- The last time I met pixies, they were trying to take the shit out of my backpack. Is this one- is this one well behaved? 
Yeah, she only wants burgers. All right. That's quite an odd suggestion. Uh, you know. can take you take on interns as a bounty hunter. I'm not really doing bounty hunting anymore, really, because like. Um, ever since we got really powerful, like, there haven't been too many bounties that, like, are kind of, like, at my skill level more. I, I kind of, like, I'm too good at <laughs> the God stage. bounties. Not to brag, but, like, the only times I there's ever really a challenge in the enemies that I fight are when, when I'm with you guys. So it's, like, you know... So well, you... About, you know, is what you're tired? Good news, we had a I'm vision, kind... so we are up to something. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of retired, but also it's like, detectiving is like doing all of the fun stuff of bounty hunting without like the actual fighting anyone. And so I do find someone because, you know, the person who did the crime doesn't want to go down without a fight. So it's like, so it's a win-win situation. What the hell is the fun part if not fighting them? Uh, I was going to say, yes, you are. I mean, like, I kind of understand, well, but I feel like there's a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah, right. let's, um... I think anyway. we have an adventure. <laughs> yeah, let's do this quest. So, you arrive at the Odyssey campus. Like and... a college? <laughs> <laughs> like a Google TM? A Google G TM. Uh, oh. There are... There's well-dressed and uniformed staff tons of security and visiting dignitaries. Everyone here is very well dressed. And um, Adara and Vittori, you both overhear mention of the VIP gala. Mm. Off in the distance, there is a um, gnome who is taking a group of tourists through the campus. Uh, they look exhausted. They're like, the great king of dragons, Jorgen Reeve, founded Odyssey Enterprises when he was just a lad from only a small loan with 15 billion dragons from his lord father. He has since become a self-made man, creating the Odyssey Enterprises into what it is today. And oh. I'm just sorry for them already. <laughs> You God. see a catering manager who is, like, yelling at wait staff because clearly something has gone wrong. And a bunch of nobles who are uh, looking a little snooty around. I feel like all uh, nobles just kind of do that. I have a question. You said that everyone's well-dressed. Obviously, that includes us, right? Yeah, what are you wearing? <laughs> Dress what are you wearing the VIP gala? <laughs> Thank you for asking. I mean, well, okay. Uh, did did we know that we were going to yeah. a gala? Like, do we get to describe fancy clothes for the fourth time in all of Three Flings? Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Let me just pull up my Pinterest board real quick. I was <laughs> gonna say, Ophelia's always kind of overdressed, so it's kind of just the vibe. <laughs> Idara's yeah. overdressed in a very specific way. Like, you know, she's the one walking in with, like, the um, head-to-toe athleisure, but it's, like, way too expensive. Yeah. Oh, it's like the fifty dollar like oh, yeah God. like like bag from <laughs> five hundred dollar leggings eight hundred dollar uh, leggings that just say like Supreme up the side. And you're just like, why? Adara is a hype beast confirmed. <laughs> Adara right. just put stuff that says like juicy on her butt, but it just says like juice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's like actual diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, all right, so is this like a dinner party gala kind of thing? Like, so outside there like are four tourists. Four? Right, yeah. outside you oh, see so tourists. Oh, they're outside, they're not inside yet, yeah. okay. That's how we find out about the gala, okay. All right, that and then cool we just sense. pull our formal wear out of our backpacks. Yeah, outside you're going to say pull our formal wear out of our ass. That's what I thought you were about yeah. to say. <laughs> um, all right, what's, what's everyone wearing to the fancy event? I want to know. Alright, I actually thought about another outfit after the last time we had to do an outfit and I was not prepared. So, um, Vittori is, like, ni wearing nice black trousers and, like, a really crisp white shirt. But she's also got, like, a black capelet on that's, like, trimmed with gold and has, like, a little gold chain that, like, goes across. And, like, it's very, like, and she's got, like, cufflinks on and, yeah. Very fancy. Very fancy. Very fancy. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, Gwen, do you have an idea? Because I don't. Buffering, because every time I've come up with a very different look for Adara, um, mm. I've got some ideas, so I can go if you're still thinking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so previous, so far I've put her in, uh, one, like, gown gown, uh, and two, like, more, uh, like, masculine adjacent ensembles, so I think for this one, it, like, you know, it's been a while since she's gotten to wear, like, a dress, um, but, uh, this is not, like, a, a floor-length, like, formal gown, this is a, like, I'm, uh, going to the club, and I'm gonna look like the hottest person in the room, um, so it is, like, a, like, very tight, um, very short dress, I, uh, she's it. If it needs to look, she's like decked it out with enough like tall shoe and accessory situation that it is clear that she is still fancy. Um, she's not naked. Like, you know how, yes. Yeah, you know how celebrities on like the red carpet will wear some clothes where you're just like, that's a lot of leg. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, yep. <laughs> like yep. Yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, wow. If you did not have knee high boots on, you would look so naked right now. Yeah, uh, and that's the point. Good, <laughs> good for her. We love a we love a self assured queen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, I feel like for Ophelia, at least, I have done, uh, everything except what, uh, she originally started out in, so I would like to imagine that for this, this at least, like uh, it is kind of one of those, like, older, uh, kind of Victorian suits that you sometimes see women in, in, like, period pieces, where they have, like, oh, yeah. uh, high collars, they have, uh, like, the tie that comes down in a blazer, but, like, it's also a big voluminous skirt at the bottom, and, like, boots. And she is oh, yeah. very excited. Because we have not gotten to be fancy recently. And it is very, very exciting. I love it. I feel like it. I have a specific inspiration in my head, but I can't manifest it on Google Images. So oh, no. I guess nobody else gets to know, except for me. <laughs> we know. We, yeah. we all know. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to draw it. I guess I'll just have yeah. to astrally project it into our brains. Oh my god. <laughs> so, as you are arriving, looking absolutely fabulous, um, you are... You go up the grand golden staircase, and there are... I put a thing in the live chat if you want to see what the party looks like. Uh, but mm -hmm. there are golden statues and velvet curtains. There is a dais with a Ooh. large velvet curtain and is ensconced by statues on either side. Um, amongst you milling around are, along with the people who are working there, you also see a, another tiefling. And this is one that you don't know. Whoa. Oh, that's unusual. Whoa, I can't believe Whoa. this is funny. Oh. This is funny. Oh, hey. wait, that's a bad sign, though. Right. Oh, no. Because so there's four away. of us. No! <laughs> there is... Uh, for those of, those of you that don't know, four tieflings has been a, a terrible sign on our ends, including sinking ships. You see a uh, pale-skinned tiefling with glasses and blue eyes and purple horns who is drinking out of a beer st stein, uh, they're draped in jewels, and petting a giant metal tiger with carved Ooh. sapphire eyes. And when they see you walk in, they just kind of give like a toast to their cup and uh, kind of like, hey, Tiefs. <laughs> and, and we're like, they're like, oh, hey, Tiefs. And we're like, oh, Tiefs. All of us are just like, run. <laughs> walk away! I don't, I don't feel it's like the urge to run away versus the urge to touch a big shiny thing. Right? I think like, Toast, like, Victoria's hesitant, but like Toast, who has like a little like red bow tie around his neck. Oh, um, yes! Toast! With the, with the tiger. Oh yeah, Ophelia's definitely gonna go up and ask about that tiger. That, that tiger is cool as hell. Um, uh, we'll get Adara and like, I was gonna say Draz, I'm like, it's not Draz. And we're going and being like, what is this? What, what are we doing here, team? What's the, Draz what's the, the goal? human person. Uh, Draz where's the, the bar? Human. Is there a fellow, bar? Do fancy I parties I, usually have bars? I have fellow team. Uh, only shitty parties don't have bars, first of all. Second of all, they're, that the fellow Teeth is actively drinking a beverage. So, like, where where the beverage come from? <laughs> yeah, but there could also just be waiters. That doesn't mean that there has to be a bar. At a party like this, the waiters tend to walk around with, like, pre-approved 
things to hand you. They don't, like, take an order, because then you gotta stand still until they get back. You have a tea pose until they get back. Flip okay. into the floor. The chief just goes, uh, Nice to meet you. I see you've met Jiba, and gestures to her tiger. So, uh, my name's Izel. It's nice to uh, meet some other folks here. I wasn't expect. I'm usually the only tiefling wherever I go. I'm sure you know what that's like. Oh, honestly, it's been yes. a while since I felt that way. But it's nice. It's re- it's refreshing. Yeah. Uh, we we seem to like come across tieflings like strangely a lot in a way that's like i feel like this isn't a coincidence i think it's like cosmic in some way so you know maybe we were destined to meet you yes uh is jiba jiba was it uh is this like some sort of automaton what do you what do you have going on it's very fascinating oh thank you she's my steel defender oh uh, uh, yeah this is an artificer <laughs> This is Azra's PC. Uh, Azra joined our Patreon oh, level at oh, the Canon and PC level. Yay. Yay. Yay, Azra. So, Azra's PC is at the party. Uh, Yay. She says, well, you know, I'm a jeweler and brewer. These drinks aren't nearly as good as mine, but, you know, it's always nice to make connections, mingle. Are you in the jewelry business? Uh, do you, did you bring any of your brews? Well, Completely I- ignoring the question! <laughs> Sorry. Half of that was interesting to me. Just out in the, uh, truck out back, but I'm not serving here. I'm happy to give you my card if you want to connect at some point. Sure, yeah. Actually, that, yeah. Um, do you do, like, supply stuff? Uh, we can worry about this later. Give me your card. I'll hand you mine. Uh, I'm working on something. I might need booze. Does it still have the no missing persons reports on the card? It absolutely is, like, Adara Leto, uh, and then just, like, a long list of, like, you know, uh, like, available for miscellaneous hire, uh, no goddamn missing persons, um, handwritten on the bottom. Uh, do yes. not fucking contact me about missing people. Uh, so, Izel, yes. Iska, it is a solid sapphire with, uh, golden scroll work that uh, the sapphire looks blank until you shine it into light, and then the writing appears Whoa. on it. That's oh, like that is such so an cool. expensive business card, Oh, uh, it's the highest hero on Instaprint. <laughs> um, I don't, like, look at the emerald as, like, uh, Dar's holding it and be like, do you do magic? What? How, I don't understand how you're able to do this. This is fascinating to me. Well, I don't really do magic, but I like to think that my work is a little bit magical. Uh, Very cool. Vitari, like, side-eyes Adara for a split second and then goes Same. <laughs> the cousins have a moment of, like, uh... <laughs> Sus? <laughs> At this point, uh, while you were talking to Iska, uh, there's folks hurrying along, eating hors d'oeuvres, dancing in the ballroom and along the walls are tapestries of joaquin walking through a marketplace one is arm in arm with her best friend and former roommate lyra Mm -hmm. clinking glasses hurrying waiters (laughs) and innocuous music fill the hall and eventually a cheery jorgen reeve appears on stage He leans on a gleaming coin in his scepter. Looks middling height. He's not nearly as ostentatiously dressed as everyone else here. He's bald and has slightly bulging eyes. And his voice booms out. And he says, My esteemed guests, it's been a long year. And I have much to share with you about what to expect in the days to come. Enjoy the the apple key sort of it. (laughs) Enjoy the evening's festivities. I can't wait to show you what's in store for Odyssey Enterprises. He unveils a painting of an ape. (laughs) The shittiest drawing, yeah. I slit his throat and leave. As he adventure over, uh, I'm gonna lean over to Adara. Do you try and do that? 
Uh, not unless he's uh, unless he's unveiling a, uh, a board ape. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> he is I'm standing in front of a curtain, but he is not unveiling it. Although, okay. as he is speaking, you notice that the golden statue of Joaquin on his side gives him a middle finger, shifts and looks at you and rolls her gives eyes. You- Gives him a middle finger. Get, gonna, like, look back at her kind of in the non-communicative way that, like, uh, people do when they're at a party and they're just like, mm-hmm, yeah, I get it. Uh, look- Curry stares at Joaquin and Lesbian because she has seen the, the her and Lyra. Uh, <laughs> Adara, the little it just, lesbian connection. Adara just reacts with, like, the, the biggest, like, shit-eating grin with her glowing shark teeth and is just like, aww. You see this shit? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, well, after we're kind of done, uh, when I notice that my compatriots have also noticed, uh, Joaquin, I'm gonna lean over and be like, I saw him in my dream, and his, like, flesh came off? I'm not really sure how else to describe it other than this man got peeled like an orange. Your dream sounds yeah. way worse than mine. I saw was, Joaquin, yeah. I saw was, Joaquin inviting me to a party. What the fuck? Why did you get it? Uh, I saw I'm not this, even like, building... That's like I'm assuming we're not in the building that Vittori saw, but like, but it, it seemed kind of ominous because there was like this trench, like red trench around and, and stuff, and like I saw like sigils of that le- le- were like gold turning to red. It was weird. Yeah, that yeah, that guy's like face came off, and it was not a not a super fun look. I'm not gonna lie, not not very becoming of a. Of the face of a company. I... When it's gone. I, is he, like, still talking, or was that the whole monologue? Um, that was the bulk of the monologue. And as you have this okay. conversation, he kind of vanishes. Anybody can give me an arcana check if you want. Oh, oh I would really love him. to. Um, can I perceive him? By vanishes, do you mean, like, he literally disappears, or he, like, he leaves? Because, like, maybe, because if he goes invisible or something, then Vittori's true sight eyes would be Same. able to I see him I also have still. that. We, all of us could see invisibility. Oh, yeah, yeah. because um, Ophelia has a witch sight. Yep. And I just also have true sight. <laughs> he is not going invisible. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Uh, that is okay. a critical success. So that's a 29 for Arcana. Does Damn. it have to be that's Arcana? great, because... <laughs> it can I be Investigation. Five. Okay, that that improves everything. That's a 17. <laughs> Vittori uh, has a plus zero to Arcana, but a plus 12 to Investigation. Well, with Investigation, it's an 11 instead of the 5 Arcana it would have been. So, you know. Wait, we both got a 5? <laughs> That's so funny. I rolled a 2. Uh, oh, okay. I have an Arcana bonus. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Wait, I have a bonus. Dara is here. better at like detecting Arcana, despite the fact she has no magic. I feel like when you've been around enough of that magic bullshit, you kind of start to notice yeah. what is happening around you. That's true. She's also smart. She did go to school. She just uh, fucking hated it. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so Adara, you notice that uh, there's something weird about this man. Hmm. <laughs> We can not need to check for that, Jess. Have any further details? Because I'm just like adjusting my incredibly small dress. Uh, the uh, vibes okay. continue to deteriorate. <laughs> uh, Vittori, you notice that he is standing on top of a teleportation circle. Oh. Ophelia, a teleport. You notice that that teleportation circle has not been used, and also that Jorgen Reeve wasn't even there. This was a project image. I was gonna say, was it like a, yeah, okay. Wait, does that mean that if it was an illusion, that means that we wouldn't have, we, we would have been able to see through his illusion to begin with. Oh, does it's, your thing let you do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you can you can detect when it's an illusion. Yeah, it's not necessarily okay. that you like have to, it's not like you can always look through it, but you can tell, yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah. you can look through it if you want. You yeah. all knew then that he was not really there. <laughs> Wow. Well, my man, like, my man oh. can't even come to his own party. He has to Skype call it in. Look. <laughs> he's in the metaverse. Uh, he's important. Uh, I have uh, a clarifying detail I would like to share about Adara's outfit now that I've uh, looked up some things. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, everyone. I just, I, uh, her, her dress is very, like, sparkly in a very, like, opalescent way. Uh, and she has a lot of, like, gold jewelry and, like, really, really tall gold boots and also gold fingerless gloves with opals in them. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, that's like, so fancy. One of those, yeah, one of those necklaces that's, like, really long just goes, like, fully down your torso. Oh. Uh. Oh, also, I've got a picture of you again for all of you. I, I want to see what this it's band so looks good. like. Because my Still brain is imagining like a combination of Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos smushed together. Cecilia is so good, and also oh my god, all, Cecilia, that's all of her amazing. Good. Uh, hire Cecilia for all of your horrible men. Oh, fucking incredible, uh, Cecilia. What a delight! What an awful gremlin of a person. Yeah. You know what he um, kind of reminds me of? He kind of reminds me of Volo from Soul Calibur. I do not go there. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the weird smile he's got going on. It's a I, very. Much... I, I can see that. I just like for. I refuse to acknowledge in my brain that Volo has like a face. Yeah, that's fair. That's where I'm at. Yeah, but anyway. uh, no, that's really good. If you all haven't gotten this book yet, uh, please do it just so you can look at the art in it because it's fantastic. Award winning really book. Job. Award winning. Oh, nominated for interior art. Yeah, I, I, you know. One ring was the correct choice, but like, uh, we also have some pretty good interior art, just saying. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, just, oh, perfect. Anyway. So, after Jorgen leaves and the party starts milling about again, you notice that by every door, you've been here a while now, that there's security personnel. You've seen them around, but you see they're doing a changing of the guard every 30 minutes, which really is frequent. a lot. Yeah. Are the, where are the guards going to and coming from? Like what the, what? They're changing out of every doorway, but they are uh, particularly guarding this uh, tapestry of Joaquin that was behind the stage. And it's the oh. same one that you saw in your vision, Adara. Wow. I want to check out that tapestry. How well lit is it in this uh, party? Oh, That's very. Lit. It is where he did his speech from. Dang it. All right. It's uh, lit. Love it. Oh, that's because you, your sure, invisibility yeah. only works with uh, the shadows. Or you yeah, could um, have your I new will... friend Izel cause a distraction for you. I Izzel... can just do invisibility whenever. So if you that's need true. That. Uh, you can come with. I'm pretty decent at stealth, so I might just try and stealth over there and be like, "Hey, Izel." Also, I Ophelia need... can like do invisibility at will. So yeah, I'm not really. Just... Must be yeah. nice to have magic. Um, I was going to say, I'm kind of taking a second before I try to do anything, and I'm trying to talk a little bit more with uh, Izel to kind of, like, figure out what is going on with their big metal thing, and then I'm going to kind of, like, just watch Adara and Vittori, like, disappear and be like, oh, uh, okay. Adara, <laughs> before before the uh, cousins vanish, um, Adara does, like, kind of tap you on the shoulder and say, might need you to cause a distraction. And then, then vanishes. Okay. It sounds like, then it sounds like a party. Uh, <laughs> Dara, give me. Yeah, you want me stealth? Yeah, sorry. You also it's want listed... me to roll stealth? Yes, it's listed as a charisma stealth check, and I don't know if that's intentional, but I like it. I would I imagine have... it. I would imagine that's it probably would be. Me. It kind of makes sense. Know. Yeah. Because I'm unlikable. Oh, you are trying right, to be I have a plus not one to noticed. Charisma. Margaret it's says a plus one to charisma now. So it is like intentional. I oh, I like okay. I like the uh, idea of yeah exactly. That's what I was gonna say. With Margaret said, I like the idea of using charisma for stealth because it's not even like you're trying to make yourself invisible. You're just trying to blend in with the rest of a party, and that's a that takes a lot I of like social awareness. Coming invisible. Um, yeah, it's so right. wonderful. Twenty six. Uh, you've made my stealth four lower. I just want you to know that. Yeah, say, uh, oh, you made my stuff three lower. I I appreciate it, and I like it. Because you can't win Also, I, I rolled a 19 on the die, so like... Vittori, you are invisible, in fact. Uh, what about you, Adara? I rolled a one on the die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, 
Uh, that would normally be an 11, but since I'm using my charisma instead, it's a 7. An 11 would still not be enough, sweetie. I think you know I mean, that. I figured. I rolled a 1. <laughs> I just want everyone to know. This is my fault for being like, yeah, my incredibly uh, ripped tiefling showed up in like a sparkly micro dress. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, like the light hits you when you're a disco ball. <laughs> yeah, and like on purpose. Uh, but now she's just like, shit. <laughs> And that's why Vittori is fancy, but also quite uh, simple in comparison. Uh, Ophelia, why don't you get me one? We'll we'll see how it goes with the group. Okay. If yeah, the majority of you succeed, then everybody succeeds. Uh, I was going to say, how do you... So you just want me to do uh, well, stealth and then add my charisma and, bonus? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is the current state of my charisma bonus? Okay, that's not good. Oh, she did. That's a 22. All right. <laughs> Fortunately, you all sneak by despite the giant glowing skimpily dressed Adara who just commands the attention of a room no matter where she is. She definitely gets intercepted by like two people who are like, you want a drink? And she's just like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. She gets accosted by a man and a woman who are like, hey, we saw you from across the party and we dig your butt. <laughs> no! You like it's like, we and it's like Elon Musk and Grimes? Yes! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> you, you see a man with blue hair and no shirt and a woman with pink hair. It's like, hey, we saw you from across the party and we looked like someone you could financially exploit. You want to come God, home and join our cult? I thought you were describing Ninja the Twitch streamer and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ninja Blevins? <laughs> Why is Ninja at this party? <laughs> I like how when you say blue-haired ha blue white man, it could either be Ninja Jameson? <laughs> the dichotomy anyway. of men? Alright, can I get uh can I get an inspiration if I just uh fucking punch Jameson Stone in the face uh on my way over to the, uh, way over the tapestry? <laughs> Excuse you, it's Jameson Marvel copyright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that might draw attention to you. But, but I that's why I got it. a natural one, Jess. Okay, yeah, you know what, that's fair. <laughs> you notice your vibe from across the room. Get fucked. Um, right. We noticed your vibe, and I noticed my fist in your ass. What do you want? <laughs> I noticed yours too, it's rancid. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe this is how we successfully like pass the check is that like Adara accidentally becomes the distraction <laughs> by starting a fight. <sighs> Kick him in the chamber and stones. Inspiration to D and D. Oh my god! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Paul. That's Nobody incredible. Share this stream with them, please. Thank you. <laughs> um. Uh, all right. You. It's fine. I said copyright. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Legally that means legally, yeah, we can't be held responsible for anything that we say on the stream. Uh, <laughs> any resemblance to real people is co completely coincidental. <laughs> we gotta say that for this one, given Cecilia's art also, which yeah. is, again, stellar, uh, but also <laughs> reminiscent of a person. Yeah, is it, is it supposed to look like Amazon lizard man who had his entire head covered in foundation? Uh, yeah. Okay, 100%. that's what I thought. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you make it to the door. You go beyond the curtain, and mm. ahead of you is a door of solid gold. Okay. Is it, is it trapped? <laughs> I don't know. Feels like it? it could be trapped. I would like to check it for traps. Okay. How are you doing that? I would like to perceive traps. Okay, give me a perception check, please. <laughs> I don't know what- I'm using my senses to determine if I think this door is us. I just say, Zan is totally correct. Zan is totally correct. Like, when you have something made out of solid gold, like, something ridiculous, like a solid gold vase, I'm always like, how many people do you think would try to steal that at a party? Like, try to take the door off its hinges and just leave. I take my oscillating multi-tool, I'm going to separate it out into sections so that I can shove them all in my bag of holding. Um, anyway, that's a 31. Okay. So, what you find is that this door is carved above the lintel. It's not uh, physically trapped, but there is a magical trap on it. It is, uh, there is a password to enter this door. 
Goldfish. And the password is inscribed, and it is Excella. Wait, mm. the password is just there? It was kind of hidden. I was gonna say, is it like written in a different language? Excella, open the door. The door opens. Hell yeah. I, I love how it's like, you at this point we're just like, yeah, sure, sure, kick this man in the nuts. We don't care. We know who this is. <laughs> oh, is oh, is this meant to be Alexa backwards? Uh, it's with not the letters swapped, yeah. <laughs> the letters swapped, yeah. Also backwards, yeah. The letters are also just swapped because that's it's uh, palindromic adjacent. Um, uh, Alexa backwards. Which uh, is so funny. All of editing and sensitivity reading, and I didn't get that until I was prepping for this week. And I was like, Margaret, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens into a dark corridor with another door at the end. Another door. Another hand touches the beacon. Is it also trapped? Uh, there are... It doesn't seem to be trapped. Like, if you don't want to make me roll again, you can just use my passive of 30. <laughs> yeah, there's no traps here. Um, mm. There, uh, it's just, you know, a door. But this one is uh, not gold. This is just a basic door. Okay. Interesting. Uh, kind of looking around, has uh, are the guards still like doing their thing where they're like changing around this uh, portrait, like doing this like weird cycling kind of thing? Oh, you have gone through. You no longer okay, see so. the guards. You are okay, in cool. a hallway. Okay. Is there anything else in this hallway other than the door? Nope. Dark corridor with the door you came through and another door at the end. This is the same thing as Zan telling us just cut the fucking pumpkin, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe oh we should just go through the door. Like the those man. of you that did that missed it, we had an adventure uh, where the key to solving it was to carve a jack o' lantern, and all of us were so suspicious of a pumpkin that we did not do anything for twenty in minutes and defense, sat here and talked. In our defense, it was like a pumpkin-headed person was, like, chasing us or something, or we were chasing mm. them, and then we went into this empty room with a pumpkin sitting on the middle of the floor and a knife next to it, and the the room was clearly, like, interact with this pumpkin, nothing bad will happen, and we were like, obviously something will happen, so we looked for every other thing yeah. we could do first. Uh, anyway, though. <laughs> that even um, when we realized we had to cut it, we were like, I don't really want to, because I don't know yeah, what's like, gonna happen. You no, know, like, what if yeah. it's just a boss fight? <laughs> like, do we yeah, really I was, want to fight a boss? I was very convinced it was a mini boss, and it was like, you stab the pumpkin, and the pumpkin stands up and stabs you yeah. back. Um, Aww. All right, the, the door's not the trapped. back, the pumpkin. Let's open the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bear room? Okay. Bears? Empty room. <laughs> I love bears. Do you walk in? I walk That's in. That's so suspicious, <laughs> Jess! I'm going to detect magic. I walk in to the room. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, oh, so as soon as Ophelia walks into the room, this room springs to life. Fascinating. Uh, it's you let got me a, detect magic, Jess. Oh, this whole room is magic. And if oh, I was going to say, you also have... You also have to realize we're dressed in magical items. Like, it would have just, like, pinged off of us. There's so much yeah. magic here. Everything is magic. Oh, no. Everything is magic. So. Her, hair, her teeth, her shoes. They're, uh, mm -hmm. on the walls around you. Let's see. There is a chair in the center. And then projected on the walls all around you is a temple of Joaquin. There are three priests arguing here, and they're overlooking oh, a, this a vision? sunny, empty marketplace. Yeah, this is a vision. Okay. One goes, She's just adopted mortal form. You know how she walks among us. It's not ours to doubt, but to wait for her return. The other priest goes, No, 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 no. She would never abandon us for so long. This cannot be of her choosing. And the third priest says, Her whispers are still with us. For those who would listen, 
Augurian commune have reached her. Lyra's emissaries have not lost heart, no matter what you believe. Then you hear a click, and everything on the walls shifts. Now, everything depicts uh, a wizard's tower. There is a snoring Nothic, surrounded by scrawled schematics, and a rubbing of a coin that looks identical to the one in Jorgen's scepter. There's also diagrams of sigils, like all of you saw at the very end of the vision from Joaquin. Mm. Vision. So is the room so so the room is completely blank otherwise though there's like nothing else in the there's a there's chair in the in... middle okay fascinating before yeah it's interesting there is a click again and then you see the detention level there's red glowing orbs in a trench and the walls are just visible overhead. Bones litter the floor and a cloaker flies overhead. There is yet oh. another click. And then you see a uh, conveyor belt chugging as far as the eye can see while exhausted workers are slumped over wiping sweat from their brow. In every corner are armed guards who take away workers when they pass out. There are banners everywhere that read, an efficient workplace is a happy workplace. No need for unions. Odyssey Enterprises is a family. Hmm. And then- Love that for everyone. Another click. And then you see the floor of the gala you just came from. And then it cycles through again. Uh, well, so is this like on the walls or is it like taking up 3D space in the room? All on the walls around you. Okay, mm. so I thought it was like a 3D projection. Like, yeah, was, yeah. Like, well, I room. thought this was like a scene that we had just like, yeah, a 3D vision. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> forbidden room. It's a scrying um, room. Okay, so mm. what exactly is it that's like causing that to uh like what is it that's projecting this stuff is there like another thing in the room or is it just some kind of something that it's just like a quality of the room give me a perception check okay uh that's a seven that's not gonna do anything for me i'm gonna do a perception so it seems, it seems like magic what were you perceiving again Oh, I was trying to figure out uh, where, like, the projection and stuff is kind of coming from, or if it's just the okay. room itself. Hmm. I'm also thinking, like, if another detective magic would work better for that now that, like, we know, like, where all the magic sources, like, magic sources are in the room, rather than just being hashtag all magic. Right. I'll do a perception check. Yeah. Uh, that is a... Wait, I was about to, like, do math significantly worse. Um, that's 22. Okay. Uh, in- as the, uh, illusions are going around the wall, you notice that each one has a gold coin in the corner of each one. Hmm. Interesting. Like an actual coin or, like, a carving of a coin? Well, it's an illusion, so it wouldn't be a carving, but oh. it look an image well, of a gold coin. Mm. Copyright symbol. Um, Victoria takes out the gold coin she got from Joaquin out of her pocket and, like, holds it up to compare. The one in your pocket starts to roll towards, uh, the one on the wall. Okay. Well, I approach the one in the wall and see if, like, so is the coin in the illusion? Seems like it. And Seeing I like Tori approach something, I'm just gonna also make sure that I am there as well in case something <laughs> happens. Okay. Um, Vitari is going to hold the coin up to the illusion and then like try and like basically 
with the coin onto the illusion or like through the illusion where the coin is to look so they intersect. You hear a vroom. And the uh, scrying illusions vanish, leaving you in an empty room with just a chair. And a door opens ahead. Ooh. Hell yeah. I solved the room. So did it need all of ours or did it just take uh, the toys? All you had to do was touch the coin. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't know if it needed to be. <laughs> so I just complicated it. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> fine. Okay. There's another empty hallway with a room. Gravity shifts harmlessly as you enter a dimly lit room through a trap door. The walls are lined with shelves of curious items. Curious. Do you say that out loud? <laughs> no. <laughs> I I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, replying to your narration. Of like, ah, yeah, okay. Anything, anything that sticks out as being like noteworthy, uh, or just a it's general. Like curious in of, like, what way exactly? Yeah. Are they there, excited to see us? You see several things labeled Bard in a Jar. Euphoria? And uh, a couple broken down Warforged. Oh, jeez. That say... That's, that's living people. Why do you have living people back here? Jesus Christ. Uh, they say Odyssey... Uh, like Odyssey TM animated assistant. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look That's at. Still fucked up. I'm gonna look at the dart and be like, does any of this like seem like something that was sold at any point, or is this kind of like stuff that you've never heard of before? Good question. I'm familiar with this company. Uh, are these products that I've heard of before? Yes. All right. Uh, what do I know about them? Um, you know that Animated Assistant is a failed, um, automaton that Odyssey Enterprises was going to sell that would follow you around and do things for you. And all of the mages were like, but we have like Invisible Servant, Tensor Splitting Disc, Mage Hand. Why do we need this? So it didn't sell. Um, uh, mm. Bard in a Jar is Songs on Command. Say what you want to hear, and the bard in the jar sings it to you. How big are the bard in the jars? I'm putting one in my pack. Well, in fact, as soon as Ophelia is trapped, they start to sing. And I put them all in my pack. They can't breathe in there. They go, it's (laughs) it's a demi plane. Welcome. It's been a while. Hello. It's been so long since anyone came came to hear us. Do you want to hear a song? Do you want to hear a song? I've got a song for you. Wait. Wait, they they have enough sentience to recognize it's been a while since someone note like is that programmed in or is it like are they like living? It's like Animal Crossing, they just have like a calendar. Yeah, running. like the automated assistants also start standing and going, uh, welcome back. Welcome back. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? And the voices get louder and stranger forming a cacophony. They start piling on top of a door in the corner and they start chattering, trying to help you to get closer to you, to get just a piece of you. Is this a combat encounter, Jess? Um, doesn't have to be. Can I, can I try and intimidate them into shutting the fuck up? Sure. Thanks. So, just out of curiosity, just because I want to have clar- clarification on this, is the bar in the jar, like, what is it in an actual jar? Or is it's, it just, like, what it's called? It's a little man in a jar. Oh, okay. You know what? I will post a picture of what's going on. Um, There is a bar in a jar on there. Ooh. Wasted a minute at 20. 
uh, Nat 20 to um, frighten all the um, Amazon Echoes into uh, shutting up. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> God, I, I'm, I'm so sad for them, though, because I know that, like, they're probably not sentient, but, like, damn. They just try mm -hmm. to do their job. Right. Uh, yeah, so, uh, they, sorry, I was trying to put the map in our live chat and realized that I didn't have it unzipped, so I will oh, do no. that later. Oh, no. Um, yeah, you successfully frighten them, and, uh, they chitter away and, um, move back so you can get out of the trap door. Oh, thank God. Yay! Thank you! No problem, I still want to pocket one. You may take a bard in a jar. Isn't that gonna I just suffocate like... the guy? I don't think it, it's not a person. It's like a magic item. Right? There's not like a person in here. It's like a doll, right? Oh, the files are too powerful to throw in the ledge. Oh no! Uh, but you can see them right there. The bard in a jar is too OP, please enough. Saga, your map is uh, just too good. <laughs> yeah. Too many hey, pixels. Oh, hi, truly. Luciella! Hi! Yeah. Oh, hey, I said hi, I I said hi ages ago, and no one else said anything. Uh, oh, wait, um, really? Yeah. I didn't fine. know this. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. Does a bard in a jar have, like, an actual being in it that I need to worry about suffocating in my bag of holding? I don't know. If There's not, holes on top it. of it. So oh, maybe. Oh, no, yes. no, it's not. It's not. Okay, okay. Then I'm taking one. It might come up. Uh, so, you escape, and uh, you smell sea air, and enter a room with a ship's helm at the center. Beside is a panel of a list of cargo ships. And like shipment tracking kind of thing. All right, next room. So like, is this still? This is still inside the building. Is this like this thing, like, a, like an illusion or something? Because we're still indoors. You are still indoors. And you Do don't see a way eyes? out. Do my true eyes see anything? They true sure eyes. do. They see a trap below the helm. And they also spy hidden way above, uh, 60 feet up, a rope ladder. Okay, well, you're gonna go straight for the rope ladder then. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna fuck around with the other thing. Give it anyone here not... Oh, uh, at Athletics Works 2, I was going to ask if we just want to fly out? Oh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, oh, yeah, because you can... Uh, other than your shoes, do uh, does Vittori have anything that she can use to fly? Because I know Ophelia does not, other uh, than the car. Vittori does, and that is, Maya has can cost fly once per day. Okay, interesting. Go, Maya. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, I think because... Yeah, I don't think that can, I can think of the, that can only do cost flying one person, so. Yeah, that's why I was asking what you had, because I know Ophelia doesn't really have anything that she can use to fly. I can definitely give people The ride. only thing Ophelia has is, like, she has the magical go transform to... Yeah, that's really all she's got. That's that's mm -hmm. what she's got going for. <laughs> but, like, surely there is an easier way, like, I assume, like, because we're on the ground, and I assume, like, the ship is higher, so we can probably, like, jump up to the rope ladder from, like, higher up. Yeah, like a jumpable distance. A great question. Oh, also, um, yes. we can probably do something with Adara's flight and the immovable rod. Yeah, or just, I can give Ophelia a ride. I have a strength of 29. Oh, that's 20, true. That is As we say, oh, Adara yeah. has picked Ophelia up, like, a football more times than I yeah, think we can true, count at this point. Yeah, that is true. Okay, yeah. I have traveled um, many places, like a tiefling under each arm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So you're not worried about it. Definitely pick okay. Ophelia up. Ophelia is what, like 80 pounds soaking wet? 
You're like underestimating by like 50, but yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, I just want to call uh, out my favorite part of this whole map is where Saga put human tested? No, side effects. <laughs> on oh here. my god, thank you, Saga. Uh, uh, very good. Huh. All right, yeah, let's go up to the You fly up and you avoid the room that fills with water. Good job. Oh, uh, yeah. But we would have been fine anyway because we all have a million underwater breathing items. So many water breathing things. Yeah. You, sure you enter an opulent living quarters and study. A life size portrait of Jorgen hangs beside a Yay. mirror. And a large desk is littered with papers and schematics. I love the idea that if he comes in here, it's not enough to just see himself in a mirror. He also has to have a picture of himself next to the mirror I know, I love to that. make sure so that everything is good. All oh the angles God. are pristine. The mirror the is what you gray. Look like. I was going to say, yeah, what is this toy and gray shit? Does the, does the painting look accurate to life? Ooh. Well, you haven't really seen him in life, have you? That's true. It's all speak. Accurate to his illusion? It does look accurate to the illusion. Okay. All right. Delightful. Um, I don't want to read all this fucking paperwork. Uh, just a oh, plot. I maybe there is plot in here. Um, Vittori takes out the coin again and sees if it like moves towards anything. Uh, yeah, it rolls towards the portrait and bumps into it, and then hits the mirror. Oh. At which point. Magic mouths in the room start repeating. Foreign agent detected. Security lockdown oh, in one oh. minute. No, good damn the coin. Why did you do that? Oh no! Oh, oh you're the one who took it out of your pocket. Uh, oh yeah, she she puts it back into a pocket and then she like moves the portrait to see if there's like anything underneath her. Uh, behind the portrait. Yeah. Not behind the portrait. Can I whip out my thieves' tools and try to disable the alarm before it does oh, whatever it's going to do in one minute? That's a good call. Uh, Everybody give that, me a wisdom saving throw first. Oh, oh no! Wait, is this, Jess, is this magic? It sure is, because oh, you hear yeah. a voice. Uh, chairs emerge for all of you, and they say, sit here and wait for help. And where's my wisdom saving through? That's a plus 11, so that is a 29. Okay. Eight. Oh, no. Adara, you sit down. With advantage. Jesus Christ. I got a 28. I got a 27. I'm using Indomitable on this. Fuck you. <laughs> you do not tell me what to do. <laughs> what number is this? All right, never mind. 13. Hey, sit down. Adara, you sit down. I sit down. But I'm angry about uh, it. Uh, she stands up for a second and then she just slumps back down. I'm like, oh, fine. Yes, I live here now. <laughs> I'll just sit in the corner and stare at the wall. Uh, um. So what are you gonna do? You have one minute. Okay. Um. Can I now look underneath the mirror? Give me an investigation check. All right. Uh, that is a 22. Okay. You don't see anything under the mirror. But you but do- Do I see something in the mirror? You see yourself. Yay. Uh, is it time to get jump scared? Oh, that's- Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> what you do see, though, is a copy of the sigil patterns that you'd seen before. And notes on modifying the imprisonment spell. You also I... again see the passphrase Excella. Okay. Question, is this on the table or is it behind the mirror? This is on the table. Excella is behind the mirror. Okay. And you would guess that this is... Um, a kind of magical password or a magical mirror where you would need the voice or appearance of oh. the person uh, 
to say a password. Okay, that's it's time to look at all my Lyra spells. We, do, does any of because I um, uh, I know Victoria Ophelia sure has disguise. a trick for that. Oh, I that's do. True, true. Do you have Mask of Many Faces, right? I do, which oh, is yeah. great because uh, basically, if you like give her a second, she will just kind of like uh, do this like little pull down motion, and then like the uh, top half of her body will transform. And uh, I don't, I don't believe it changes your voice because it just basically does like disguise self give you a performance check then okay oh performance check to be a, a capitalist with advantage. performance check to be a capitalist we love it uh that's a 21 <laughs> okay 16 with pulse 5 so looking like jorgen and saying Excella in his weird voice uh the mouths stop detecting you as a foreign agent Adari, you no longer feel the urge to sit and wait for assistance. I was, I was gonna ask. Uh, did was it that uh, she was told to sit and wait, or was it just that her butt had to be in the chair? Uh, it was uh, wait for help. Mm, okay. Uh. And the room shifts around you through the mirror. Right. Cool. While that's happening, I get up and I'm just gonna uh, real quick break the chair in half. <laughs> so glad you did. You're like, no one puts baby in the corner. Smack! Fuck you and fuck your chair. It's that scene of Disco at least of where you sit in a chair and it slowly drains your health because it's yeah. so uncomfortable! You can die for it! No! <laughs> uh. You stand in a treasure vault. There are mounds of treasure gleaming like an ocean of gold just inside the door is a large set of scales scales how like the weighing things scales yeah okay okay it's hard when you're in a game that also features like lizards and dragons and you're just yeah. like are we talking about the things that are skin or the things that is weight yeah, true. Uh, we've been we've been promised both dungeons and dragons, so yeah. it's good to check. In this economy, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What do uh, you do? You want a room chock full of treasure? I'm it's going to look at it all with my eyes and see uh, if any pain. of it is an illusion. I was gonna just check and make sure it was like not gonna kill us. Uh, None of it is an illusion. This is all real treasure. Is it gonna oh. detect magic? Okay. Does yeah. any of this have like magic that will like, you know, kill us if we touch any of it? There's a lot of magic items in here. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is a bit of meta knowledge, but um, just did mention a magic item table before the stream. So I can I roll on that magic item table, please? You want to give me an investigation check first uh, to yes. honor your paranoia? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, um, that is a 27 okay. I'll, I'll also poke around uh, Vittori you notice that there are pressure plates on either side of the door so Let's like see. if we step out into the room or like uh, sorry what there are five put pressure plates that act as a scale in front of the door Oh, okay. So, like, in front of the door that we step into, or is there another door on the opposite in side? In front of the door that you step into. Is there okay. no reason so we can't we probably... step or fly over them? Yeah. Can I half scotch my way over this I mean, thing? I but... assume the fly from earlier is still active, so Vittorio will like... float in. Team All right. In. Door locks yeah. behind you. Fucking Sonic. Like... <laughs> adventures floated. Did we all make it in before the door locked behind us? You are all in. The door is locked okay. behind you. And you oh, gotta no, go being shopping. In... Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh no, we're trapped in a room full of money. This we is just, such no. a problem. I'm just imagining like, looking over and seeing like one of those really ridiculous like gold toilets and shit. And you're just like, why? Why? I do I do want to try and keep an eye out for more pressure plates, because if there are five by the door, yeah. then there might be some, like, under the treasure. Yeah. Oh, that's really fair. Yeah. Everybody so rolled me a D100. 
D100. Okay. Oh, wow. that's unusual. That's not a thing you get told to roll every day. Yeah. Hey. Uh, that is a 32. Vittori, you find a ring of spell turning. Ooh. Spell turning? Yep. Um, I don't think this has ever happened to me before. 100. Ooh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> I was complaining about the d20, but really the dice set was just waiting. That's, okay, I don't, that's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen anyone roll a flat 100. This is an interesting... A moment where I was like, I got a zero. I play Warhammer, we roll it all the okay. time. Okay, I feel that too. Like, the you look at the dice and you're like, oh, I got a zero. And you're like, wait, hold on, hold on. A good zero. Right? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Dara, I'm so sorry, you can't use this. It requires a wizard. Oh. I'll show it to you, though, but do you want to roll again? Um, I, I would, if I can't use it. Yeah, oh, you got yeah, Tome of the Stilled, stilled tongue. tongue. Goddamn magic users. <laughs> Alright, I'll let Ophelia roll. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I got an 86. 86. Ion Stone of Greater Absorption for you. Mm. Ooh. I'm still getting used to the font on these dice. Uh, this is a 71. 71. Okay, however, I will say the Tome of the Stilled Tongue is, like, really cool. It really is. I believe it. Uh, it's, it's very cool. You can use it as a spell casting, and then you can also use it to cast spells without using a verbal or somatic component. That's kind of awesome. And Vecna yeah, spies on it. Yeah, and Vecna's just like, what you got going on there, fam? And are you get plus two uh, splint armor. Uh, Ooh, that's kind of great. Already have better armor than that. No, S. Uh, so now I need to look up what splint armor is and if it's better than my studded leather. It is. Oh, no, wait. There's also plus two studded leather. That well, is I have the same plus thing. two studded leather. Okay. Roll me one more time. I'll give you one more. One other uh, thing. Uh, splint armor is worse. It gives me stealth disadvantage. Okay. Because Adara is difficult. Um, I will I'm also sorry. say that, like, if you get something that is useful to Victoria but not to Adara, I will say that, like, the ring of spell turning might be fun for Adara just because oh, yeah. it's Do about, like, saving throws yeah. against spells. And that Do you might want be. the splint armor? Um, no. That, I don't um, want anything that gives me disadvantage on um, um, stealth. Yeah. Uh, my third reroll was an 80 flat. An 80? Oh, okay. this is cool. I like this. This is very cool. Ah, oh, where did it go? Um, there it is. Okay. Uh, do do we? I can read off basically what the Ion Stone does for people. All right, uh, so, Azara, you get this. You get a cubic gate. Cubic gate. You get a cube. You get a I Rubik's know, cube. Congrats. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. Ponder to the orb. Patrons. We'll talk to patrons about what the magic items do later. Yes, and, uh, we will do that later. You get a ton of money, too. So, yeah. money. you can How roll for that on the Patreon money. thing. I love gold! Right. I love gold! Gold! Ponder the cubic orb. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you guys ever seen that image where it's like corn on the corb, and it's like an orb, but it's got corn kernel on it? I'll find it. It's such a good image. It's one of my favorites. I'll put it in the Discord. Corn on the corb. <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking at the cubic gate, and that is very much Vittori's shit, just because, um... What is it? Like, an immovable rod she, kind she of She thing? likes to, um, investigate things across the multiverse, all the, we oh. all the outer planes, so we could do a Oh, it's, a, it's like... Thing. This is the Spider-Verse, yeah. Spider-Man, into the Spider-Verse cube. Yeah. <laughs> so. You get all your money... You get all your items, you turn to leave, and you can't get out. It's okay, we live here now. Yeah, it's fine. At least there's um, the gold toilet in the corner. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so... Is the door locked? We have to say, Alexa, open the door. Stella, excuse you? Sorry, Excella, open the door. The door does not open. Joaquin's favor, the coin, falls from your pocket and pings against the metal of the pressure plate, which causes the scales in front of you to sway. Okay. 
But we still have to deal with those, okay. Mm -hmm. Man, right, just aren't you glad that there is a built-in item in here that's like... A helper here to friend? point us in sure the right am. direction? It's also like, hey, stop being a goon and actually do what we want. <laughs> Fix yourself. Uh, so the scale situation, is it currently uneven or is it currently even? <sighs> uneven. Uneven. Okay. okay. So probably we have to even it back out. Uh, I can is imagine, same, yeah. Is it the same as when we entered or has it changed since we entered? Ah, great question. It has changed since you entered. Interesting. What was Ooh. it before we entered and what is it now? It was even and now it is heavier on one side. Mm. Uh, we probably just have like, to leave something in exchange. I was gonna oh, say, yeah. Sure. Alternatively, picking up some of the treasure that's in the room. I'm gonna see if I can put that on the pressure plate so I don't have to leave anything. Cause fuck mm. you, capitalist. Uh, it is always ethically right to steal from big corporations. Moderating my weight, uh, try and lean on the pressure plate the exact right amount. Huh. How do you do that? Start by, by pushing gently skilled. and see what happens. By getting good. Lean more as time goes on. Give me an athletics check to do that. Sure. Because that is a body control thing. Uh. Yeah. Um, well, 22. Yeah. So when you lean on it with almost all of your weight, minus the cube, it opens. Yay. If I relax my weight a little bit, does it close again? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Oh. Well, I guess Gwendy lives here now. Yeah. Gwendy is here? Quickly... Wait, no! Stop me. The human person. Um, how quickly does it close? Is it, like, instantaneous, or is there time for me to run for it? Is there uh, time for a movable rod shenanigans? Is it, like, yeah. a sliding There's door? There's always time for a movable rod shenanigans. Do it. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I toss my immovable rod to Vittori, yeah. and I say, keep that open for us. Uh, uh, just click it once it opens. Yeah, make sure to click the button on, like, the, uh, the outside side so that we can get it oh. as, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good call. It's so, like, Vittori uh, goes through the door first, and I assume Ophelia also uh, comes through, and then, like, immovable rod, jamming it open. All right. <laughs> we really are just the people where it's, like, the automatic sliding doors at, like, a store, and then you just, like, put a shoe in it to be like, no! Stop! A full, a full umbrella in there. Yeah! <laughs> I'm taking a, a long, like, pool cue. It's, like, sticking Hell it yeah. in there. All right. Escape with um, your treasure. Yeah, yeah, and the immovable rod. Hell yeah. You emerge. Okay. Oh, what were you gonna say? No, I was just saying, okay, where's Wookie? <laughs> For the first time since entering the back rooms of Odyssey Enterprises, you don't enter a hallway. Above you is pitch black, and before you is a deep trench lit only by glowing red orbs at the bottom. Is this what I saw in my vision? Yay. Yeah. Crumbled traces- so we're on the right track at least. Crumbled traces of a bridge on either side remain, but nothing else. The trench, indeed, encircles the sanctum from Vittori's visions. Uh -oh. And you also recognize this from the scrying mirror. This was the area named Detention Level. Ah, oh, yay! Detention. That's such a great name. That's, level. that's concerning. Uh, okay. So, like, uh, are there, like, stones and stuff on the ground, uh, Jess? Stones? Like, yeah. if I look, can I find, like, pebbles? Okay, uh, if I, like, pick up one of the pebbles and try to throw it into the red stuff at the bottom, what happens to it? Uh, a flash of lightning comes out. Yay! Delightful. Uh, does it, like, strike it as soon as it hits the, the, the like, liquid red whatever? The... Mountain Dew, red, whatever. Code red. <laughs> uh, uh -huh, yeah. I'm gonna say lightning blasts right on the pebble. Oh, that's concerning. Okay. 
Um, what else happened in this room? Do, is there like a door on the other side that we can go through then? Yes. Well, there is oh. the crumbled traces of a bridge and um, mm -hmm. the glowing orbs at the bottom. And anybody can give me a perception check when that lightning lights things up. Yeah, sure, yeah, I'll do yeah. it, because I was, I was staring at it anyway. Oh no, Gwen, I just saw your message. Not the power <laughs> drill. My foot hurts. Oh no. It's like your, it's Achilles heel, but if Achilles had a power <laughs> drill that he ran into. Oh god, no. I, I, oh, no. I went to get water and I stubbed my toe on a drill. <laughs> now my toe hurts. Uh, I got an 8, so that's not happening. I got a 23. Got a 30. I'm glad someone can see in this Because <laughs> it ain't me. So, Ophelia, when that lightning shoots up, you see the source of it, which is a bay here living down here. A bay here. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, like a demon? I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what they are. Okay, They're can monstrosity. I keep going? They're like little oh, okay. lightning dragon-y things. You have fought them before. Uh. Yep, I'm trying to just trying to remember how to spell it because I want to look at a picture of it. B e h i e r. Yeah, I'll show you the picture. No. Um. Oh, I found one. Okay, yeah, because I just want to look at a picture of it to remember. Oh, the, these things. Yep, these things. Vittori, you see that the bay here is not alone down here. Yeah. The, sk the skink thing. They look like skinks. You yep. are not alone. But they're like everyone is here. There's other things. And Adara, with your incredible perception, you can tell that what is not alone are some cloakers hanging out around the bay here. <sighs> Yay! No one is alone. I, oh, I hate these things. No one is they alone. have not noticed you, you yet, except the bay here noticed a rock, but that's all so far. The bay here is okay. like the fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, does this room seem like a dead end? Oh, God. Or do we have to go through it? Yeah. So far, the only way out has been through. Okay. And um, you I'm just hear... gonna misty step over okay. the bridge. <laughs> Perfect. And as soon as you do that, Vittori, you hear a voice in your head. Yay! It says, just a little farther. Time is almost okay. up. Break the enchantment, or hurt him enough to release me, and earn the favor okay. of a goddess. Fair Ooh. trade? Deal. A novel for us. <laughs> and then Joaquin ends the Discord call. <laughs> oh my god, just like the Skype, like, calling noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we all hear that, or just Vittori? Just Vittori. I'm the only one that went across the bridge. I was gonna say, yeah, Vittori's the only one who's done anything yet. Uh... How far is the bridge? Um, the trench is 500 feet wide and 800 feet deep. I'll say the bridge goes across that and it's broken. All hey. right. Oh, feel like how much of the bridge, how much, how big is the gap in the bridge? I assume is what? Just saying. crumbled traces. So I'll say, uh, 400 feet of the bridge is missing. Okay, how... that's actually more than my misty step can <laughs> How oh, dark is it? Fairly dark. Dim lighting, would you say? Or darker? Yes. It is pitch black, oh, yeah. except for the glowing red orbs around which are dim lighting. The orbs. Right. Uh, I mean, if you want, I can just piggyback you over, Ophelia, and I can turn it invisible. You can too, so this shouldn't yes. be a problem. I would prefer that strictly because I would also not like to use... Clashes otherworldly guys on flying a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah, that's temporary. It's a very, yeah. like, costly use of flight. Yes. Yeah, so, no, uh, this um, is... This is a yeah. negligible amount of effort for me. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah. O uh, Ophelia has uh, the Shroud of Shadows, so if you just cast Invisibility, whatever. And I have the, uh, freaking Boon of the Night Spirit. Oh, that's what it is. Like, you step in the shadows yeah. and then just... Yep, you're just yeah. gone. Yeet. Yay! My uh, sparkly, like, opalescent dress just turns, like, uh, black sparkly, Ooh. and then it and the rest of me vanish. It's like the two-sided oh. sparkle things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, just I... push all the sequins down. <laughs> like, <Nope. laughs> just, like, sit there for five minutes pushing them all down. 
Oh my god. Um, you have to get my bag, I can't reach it. <laughs> Across the bridge, reunited with Vittori, you hear... Hello. Ha 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 ha! Joaquin! Ha ha, you are mine! And then you all hear a voice in your head that says, Divinities cannot predict the future when godhood is assailed. But never fear, I will be with you. And here, as a gauge of that bargain and a token of my favor, and you all feel a warm tingling all over your body. You all now have one use of legendary resistance. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's and wait, really cool to give like a monster ability mm -hmm. to like play characters. Can't wait yeah, to use it for right. something inconsequential and then suffer right. for it later. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's gonna ask us for he's gonna ask us for like a charisma save or something, and Victoria and Adara are just gonna be like, oh heck, and then we're gonna use it and it's gonna be like, you prevented being uh frightened for one round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Contemplating really I love it. <laughs> Contemplating that, we're gonna take a quick break and we will be back in about five minutes. So everybody get a stretch. And uh, don't hoard your money. Or you might have the threes coming after you. We'll be right back. And we'll take your money.
everybody. Welcome back to Three Flings. We are playing the Golden Lady and a King of Dragons. And the Threes have just made it to the Inner Sanctum. And I will show you what it looks like. Oh, I remember now. I was going to put little Tieflings to put on this battle map. And then I oh. didn't do that because if I don't give myself specific instructions, I forget. So It's okay. It happens to everyone. So you just have to uh, imagine. Oh, that's cool. Who did the Who did this one? David did this one. David. Oh, so pretty. That's so cool, buddy. MVP. So. I like the is, coins in front. That's cool. Uh, Sixty foot radius sanctum. The hundred and twenty foot high ceiling. There are magical sigils all around this circle. Um, divided into six sections. And in at the end of each section is a glowing sigil floating in the air. Oh, this is what I saw in my dream. Mm -hmm. The sigils. It's oh. time to da 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 duel. And at the center, Jorgen Reeve stands clutching his scepter, now set into the floor at the heart of the circle, and stands above a shrouded body with a golden magical aura. Oh, Looking very differently than he did in his illusion when you saw him upstairs. He has rotting skin clinging to bone and sinew. His Yay! white knuckles knitted around the scepter, their flesh barely clinging to them. Turning to you, he says, Ah! Unexpected guests, my gift to you. You'll be the first to see the new god of wealth before you die. You're the first to see the new god of war. I was like, what? Have... The new god of war for PlayStation 5? <laughs> I'm gonna look I over at Adara and Vittori and like point at his flush like, and be like, I thought that this was gonna happen. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be one of us causing it or if it was just gonna be him. But there it is. Uh, I have a question, Jess. Yeah. Uh, say, hearing him say, uh, you're going to die, may I use a bonus action before. Say, no, you. It's mostly for flavor. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> uh, I, I just, you know, we were at a fancy party, right? So we probably weren't walking around with all of our equipment. So as a bonus action, I just want to, uh, like, reach a hand over one of the opals on my gloves and draw my Vorpal sword out of my glove. Oh, yeah. You're you ready. may draw your sword. Thanks. Technically, it requires a bonus action to use the item, which is why I had to ask. Okay. He hoists, hoists a crucible of smoldering liquid to his mouth and drinks, his flesh boiling away everywhere it touches, sizzling Yay. and simmering. This his, is why you wear sunscreen. His eyes turn to you and says, It begins. Let's roll initiative. Yay! This is why skincare is an important part, and so is sunscreen. What you get? All right. That is a dirty twenty. Nice. I've got to use my new dice. Oh, did you also get dice at Gen Con? I did. I got some lovely dice from Seer Sword. I ooh, that oh, just yeah. rolled really Lucy well. Yellow makes pretty dice. And I got some dice with a cat in it. <laughs> and oh. I got some dice that have liquid inside of it. Are they the same cat dice that you got that kept rolling 20s against us that one night? Is it the same brand or is it a different one? No, these are different. They have like little kitties inside of them. Oh! <laughs> See, I, I feel like if I saw those, I'd want to yeah. like hit them against something and be like, free them! <laughs> <laughs> While getting ready for Gen Con, Jess was like, remember to pack dice so you don't have to buy dice at Gen Con. Then Jess is like, I forgot what to bring dice? dice when we get there. <laughs> I need dice for a game later. I did have dice Someone in my suitcase. <laughs> you didn't have them physically on you, and you were like, well, they're not on my person, and I have been brought to cat dice, so I guess I am uh, forced to buy the Unfortunately, cat dice. Unfortunately, I have to buy the cat money. dice. <laughs> yeah, it's... I'm calling you out. That's fine. Uh, Vittori, you got a dirty 20, you said? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Uh, how'd everybody else do? I only got a 16. Okay. 
I got an 18. Oh my god. I got a 15. This is the this is like the highest I've ever rolled for initiative and like I think a good half half of this entire series of adventures. So like Fair. give this to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Eventually I had to roll below a 20. Oh, okay. so sad for you. I know. Mm. So, it's very tragic. Sag, F and chat for Gwen not rolling over 20. I can't believe I'm not going first. What even is the point of playing a fighter? I can't believe other people are going to get to have their turn come around. Eat it. This is my <laughs> combat. Dress, not the fuck. Not the fuck. Oh, no. Not the fuck day. So, oh, that's beautiful. So, Thank the you. first thing that happens to you <laughs> is a boon from Joaquin appears. Oh, another one? Mm -hmm. And so much. all of your weapons now become holy weapons. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right. yeah, baby. What does that mean, Jess? I'm putting it in the thing. It means that they do extra damage against, I think, undead. So, undead and evil. Weapon well, emits mistaken. bright light in a 30 foot radius. Dim light for an additional 30 feet and deals an extra 2d8 radiant damage on a hit. And as a bonus action, you can dismiss it and cause it to emit a burst of radiance. Each creature will need to make a constitution saving throw. On a fail, it takes 48 radiant damage and is blinded. This is a not a feeling in a blind Victoria again. <laughs> of your choice. Oh it's God. of your choice. Okay. Oh so I can choose the blind Victoria this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm always gonna have that clip of Carly walking in and getting blinded by floodlights because it happens so often. Uh. All right, and then Jurgen Reeve. Jurgen Reeve. It's big. It really, it really does sound like an Ike like IKEA man. Oh hi, baby. Oh god, layer actions too. Oh no. <laughs> the Sorry. oh no. Okay, we're not there yet. We're not at layer actions. So, he is going to, hmm. Plus he rolls better than me, asshole. Looks at <laughs> Adara. Mm. And just goes, don't fight against me. I can make you rich. And oh, give no, me I'm gonna have to use her, please. I'm gonna have hey. to use your legendary resistance already. Is this I was gonna say, don't effect? forget about that. <laughs> Is it a magic effect? Yes, he is trying to right. dominate monster you. You called me. Hey, he called you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I rolled two twos. So first, I'm gonna try using my indomitable. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm gonna guess that a six doesn't cut it. No, weirdly, it does not. Okay. Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-three beats it. Hell yeah. Ooh, okay. Didn't oh! even need to use the legendary resistance. Look, it's great. Yeah, I still have that. Look, after Garrett's the freaking stat block, uh, I wasn't confident. <sighs> huh. And then... Hmm. All right. Looking at you, he goes... I did not expect that. I dislike impertinence. You're gonna. He really said, "I hate the fact that you have opinions." <laughs> and now there mutual, is but... a crackling cord of energy that tethers Adara to Jorgen Reeve. I heard hmm. there was a secret call. No. <laughs> <laughs> and <sighs> then. Let's see what happens next. Should be fun. Oh, eight. Love it. Okay. Oh, no. Out of his scepter, blasts of energy shoot out in a prismatic spray, and I rolled an eight. So I get to roll twice. <laughs> and I rolled oh, an eight Jesus again. <laughs> prismatic spray. So let's try. Okay, that one was a one. And that one was a five. Okay. So, everybody give me a dexterity saving throw, please. This is the guy's magic. Magic. Yeah, it is. It's prismatic spray. 
Magic. Magic. Dexterity. Oh, the time that uh, Victorian Zan, uh, Victorian Shai both rode natural twenty. Guess. Zan, the human person. <laughs> See, it's rubbing off on you guys. It wasn't just me. It's rubbing off. <laughs> so dexterity saving through that is a uh, twenty nine. Okay. Good. With advantage and a plus eleven. That's a fifteen. Okay. Oh no! I'm so sorry, please. My dice are not having it tonight. <laughs> they really said this is what you get for leaving us downstairs when you started. And okay, right? I think I think uh, to tell they're not Adara colored. So if you want it with advantage, I got a natural twenty plus five, so that's a twenty-five. Or you can take the other roll that I made, which was a fifteen plus five, so that's a twenty thirty. So either way, everyone except Adara succeeds. I was gonna say I'll give Adara my fifteen if that's what she wants. Sure, I'll take it 26. <laughs> uh, I, I cannot accept that. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, what what is the effect? So the first one is fire. So. Okay. That's uh-huh. Great choice, genius. Is this so, the one necrotic because she's immune? It's cold. No, so Adara is Ooh, also nice. resistant to My that. man said icy yeah. hot. Featuring Shaquille O'Neal. So. He's a burn. Uh, Adara, you are taking 20 fire damage. That is halved because of your resistance. Everybody else is taking 10 because you succeeded. We and love to see that. Turning this we love to see it. That is volatile reaction by Kevin. So we get, we get dealt five people. points of dam- fire damage because of our resistance. No, you're taking 10. 10. You're taking 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. So 20 was, was halved. halved. Okay. Yeah, 20 was already halved. And then Adara, are you resistant to cold? Sure I am. Okay. So, uh, is everybody resistant to cold or just Adara? No. Okay, so then everybody takes 14 cold damage, because that is it resisted. And what? now, uh, it is Vittori's turn. Yay, well, I'm Hunter, it, Hunter's marking that fool, and, um, time to do my first attack, because I'm just gonna shoot him. Um,. That is not going to hit, I assume, so I'm gonna- Cause that's, um, uh, thir- uh, 12 actually, so yeah, that's probably not gonna hit. No. Oh, I'm re-rolling that. Um, that is a 22, does that hit? A 22 does hit. Um, so, let's, um, Hunter's Mark and the D10. And I get to do three extra points of damage on this because I am now level uh, 20, um, 11, plus 6. Thank God, welcome back to maths. 11 plus 16 plus 3. Uh, Can you do- 11, 27 30. plus 3, 30. Yeah. Okay. 30 points of- Oh, and then I also have to add on the holy damage. So that's 2d8, right? Uh, yes. Welcome back to- oh yeah, <laughs> forgetting what a d8 looks like and remember- oh, that's just the diamond. Oh, that's an 8? Nice! And a 7! Jesus! Nice! So Very good. Extra 15 points of damage, so 45 points of damage in total. Yeah, What nice. kind of damage is that? And, uh, f- what? 45. 15. Okay, cool. 15 was radiant. Yeah, and then what was the other time? That's uh, fine, I piercing. got it. Okay, um, second attack. That is attack. a 27. Okay. That will hit. Um, time to do more damage. Oh my god, that's max damage. <laughs> that's nice. Cool. We love it. So we, we love, love it. it. So that is a 32 points of damage. Plus three and so eight, so thirty-two. Plus, so that's forty points of damage. Um, t- thirty-two of that is piercing, and eight of that is radiant. Okay. Okay. Third attack. That is uh, a natural one. I'm going to re-roll that with my luck blade because fuck no, <laughs> not against this. Not in the Hello, boss baby. fight. Um, that is a 23. Okay, yeah, that hits. Okay. And this one gets the d8 extra damage. Uh, 
Ooh, that's 11, so that's 27, and then an extra oh, 2 wait. 8 Adara, give me a constitution saving throw, please. Whoa. Better, I'm great. Um, uh, that's 31 points of damage. 27 of that is piercing, and the remaining, I think it's like 4 damage, is okay. radiant. And that's my turn. Uh, natural 20 for 31. Okay. Good to know. That's, that's so suspicious. That's, I was gonna say that's so sus. Mm, press X to doubt. Literally yeah, though. For sure. Well done, Adara. Mm. Um. Uh, how close did you, Victoria? You're pretty far away. Yeah, I am so, not moving any close to him. I am just like to do with the magic right inside board. the door. I just started shooting him. Okay. So, then he's going to hurl a ray of frost at you. And he's in the center of the room, correct? Just looking at uh, David's map. He's in the yep. center, right? Okay. Hey, hey, That's Jess. Yeah. When I had to make a con what? save, uh, did the magic umbilical cord do anything? You succeeded, so no. Okay. What about the magic umbilical cord? I, I'm, like, tethered to him because he hit I me. I hate call hearing him. Oh, I was like... Because I'm all so wrong. I was like, what in the bloodborne is this? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, you're doing a great old one. Did it seem <laughs> like it wanted me to make the con save? Uh-huh. Okay. It did. Okay. Uh, oh, it's probably one of those things when, when you take damage... Uh, when yeah. You take, when he oh, takes damage, it goes my. to you instead. It's probably one of those things. Congratulations, fool. You just played yourself. So... Joke's on you! You can't hurt me! Only I hurt me, Ambulant of Gore! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Vittori, does a 20 hit you? Yes. Okay. So... Huh. Hey. That's the wrong... No, it's not. 34 cold damage. Yay! And then it's Ophelia's turn. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, let's see if that weapon. Okay. Uh, right off the bat, I'm casting a uh, blade of disaster. Okay. Uh, so uh, so right near him, you see the air kind of rip apart, and then the blade shaped planar rift happens. So now I get to hit him with this again. Nay. Okay. I don't know what the bonus is to hit with this. Hang on a second, because I'm not going to remember. Uh, that's what I thought it was. Okay. So one of those was a critical success. So that's a 34. Love and one of them, And the other oh, one yeah. was a 19. So that's a 33. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the best I have ever ever rolled in my entire life and it's never gonna happen again. I'm going to die next time I have to make a saving throw because this is the luck. I this was it. Okay. Well, you got uh, that uh, legendary resistance, so you're fine. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, so... Wait, I forget it gets a crit on 18 or higher! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Suck it, old man! Okay, uh, so right off the bat, max damage for both of those is the base. That is 96 right off the bat. So it is 40, oh, 12. Yeah. Uh, Adara, and then, please make me a constitution saving throw. Alright. You know, I'm so glad that that thing is attached to Adara. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Else. Wait, no, hold on. I, both. No, sorry. Uh, 23. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just realized, so it does a crit... Uh, every time it does a crit, it does an extra 8d12, so you're not taking, uh, 96, you're taking 244. Woo! Because <laughs> it does 144 max. Uh... Jesus Christ, are you, are you gonna kill him right now? I have- I now here's the thing, I have to roll the damage too, that's just the base. Oh, okay, it begins, it begins, it begins. Who's ready for 20 minutes of ink rolling dice? 
Let's see, how many of these? This is five. Do I have a sixth one? I should have a sixth one. If I can't. Yep, there it is. Six. Okay. Jess, are you regretting that take the max once, roll once uh, rule yet? Nope. I'm just doing a think. Uh, uh you're you're trying oh to figure no, out how this thinking. Is, you're trying to figure out if this is gonna kill Adara, aren't you? Nope. Uh okay, so that is Adara's succeeding on her checks. She's fine. Well that's good. I'm great at this. Uh let's see. So that's ten uh 10, 22, 29, uh 29, 38. That's another 38. Okay. Uh that's a good th- uh 22 uh, 28, 31, 35, 37, that's another 37, so that's one of the attacks, completely done. Okay, 20, 30, 34, 40, uh, that's 41, another 41, uh, actually no, that's 46, because there's a 5 there. Oh, and that's gonna, yeah. Okay. Uh, 7, and that's a 12. Okay, uh, 19, 30, 31, 39, 43, uh, and that's another 45 damage, and then I'm done with my bonus action, so that's Blade of Disaster done. Okay. Is he dead? Is he dead? So. That's a great question. So. Is he dead? Uh, his flesh rots off of him. Mm, phase two. Phase two. And ah. as it decays to the ground, and Yum. a massive corrupted dragon bursts out of his body. There you have is. done a lot of damage to it, though. So its skin is still hanging off, and it has bones <gasps> of molten gold. Okay, uh, also. The scepter ha- melts. Yeah. The coin in the scepter in the center of the room melts. The shroud over the body in the center of the room falls away to reveal nothing. The ground rumbles and booming through the walls, you hear, finally, light from all of the gold in the room unites to form a shimmering 30 foot tall apparition of Joaquin herself. A giant woman. You thought you could have all of this without paying for it? And you call yourself a merchant. She waves her arms and all of the treasure is destroyed along with the sigils on the floor creating squares of lava that is now the floor is difficult terrain and very hot she says oh you you didn't say the floor is lava the floor is lava she says coin only does good if you spread it around adara you're up i'm not done that was was a bonus action action. uh uh, okay, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> uh, do I want to try to hit him again with this? Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. Where's my... Hey guys, can you check? I would love that. Okay, so one of those is a 17, one of those is a 29. So I must be in the 29, not the 17. The 17 will not hit, the 29 will. Yay! Okay, what is that? That's only a 15. Okay. Three, four, so I'm taking four. Uh, okay. I got an 11, a 10, and a 12. So that's 33. Uh, damn it. Force damage. And, uh, goodbye for your turn. See ya. Oh no, you're sending him to hell? Yeah! Two day shipping! Hurl through hell! Oh, yes. Dar is like, oh no. <laughs> Dar is like. Dar is like, is this one? Other people feel when I my turn is first. I refuse to roll below a fifteen for initiative ever again. <laughs> okay, so, so here's my question: When he disappears and goes to hell, does that thing around a dollar disappear? It does. Ooh. Yay! Okay, because that was the main thing I was going for was disconnecting yeah. that, and I yeah. don't have counter spell, so 
Uh, I had to roll at least a 12 uh, to beat that, probably. I don't know what the DC is, but 23 kind of feels like it was cutting it close. So, um... It was 18. Oh, never mind then. I was fine. Need to roll like a 7. Now, had advantage. I say having rolled with advantage and gotten two twos earlier. Uh, I was going to say. So we've got time for a minute because he's not coming back till the end of our next turn. (laughs) Sure. We just turned to Joaquin and be like, hi. How's it going? Um... Yeah, how is it going, Joaquin? Is this is this better? Is this uh, is everything good now? Thank you for freeing me. Let's make him pay. Yeah, I, I like that. Yes, let's. She uh, cracks can I, her neck. <laughs> um, can I uh, go up to where he was? Yeah, I'd like to ready a an action to attack him when he gets back. Okay. Uh, um. And I guess, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bonus action on my way over there. Uh, I just, uh, like, tap my, uh, I guess, tap my knuckles together on the gloves. Uh, so holding the sword, but, you know, just tap them together. And uh, as I fly over there in my boots, I get nice and big also. Um, not not oh, 30 yeah. feet big, uh, but I do become... Giant woman! I do become capital L, large... Um, What's better than one my, giant woman, two giant Thanks to my women. Reverie of Nessus item from Alexis. Thanks. One, thanks of our, Alexis. one of our beloved patrons. Thank you, Alexis. Thank I become you, Alexis. secondary big woman. Secondary giant big woman. woman. Giant woman. Medium, okay. medium uh, big woman. I am going to, uh, as part of my turn, I'm going to also move over where, uh, where Adara is, and I am going to wait until he shows up again to do my action, because he shows up at the end of my turn. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm going to for the end my of your turn. turn the end of his turn. It's the end of my turn. Huh. So, because he's he's gone for the entirety of the like the round until it comes back around to me, basically. Uh, Joaquin yep. gives all of you advantage on any attack rolls, saving throws, or ability checks made by you for this round. Nice. Damn. That's yes. Really convenient because I was going to sacrifice doing something so that I could digi evolve toast so that he can bite a capitalist. Um, I'm so I'm laughing to Bogart in the chat saying grande woman venti woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh okay. Uh um so yeah, um but this time uh Toast looks different. He looks like he's like kind of like different shades of like purple and blue because now Meyer is helping uh Vittori like, um of Digi evolve a toast. Because now I'm using summon fate to That's that's cool. So now he's a fairy dog, but not a blink dog, even if you can now teleport. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, uh, so is and that... Then, uh, Vittori, but... that's Vittori's action, so she can't, like, do ready attacks for herself, but she's going to ask Toaster ready up so that when he returns, he can fight. Ready up. <laughs> yeah. By the uh... capitalist. Everybody give me a dexterity saving throw. Is this against okay. a magic effect? Uh, yeah, it's against the floor is lava. Mm. Oh, Wait, right. I'm flying. Oh, okay, Ambit. you don't have to do it. And we have advantage <laughs> on this because... where he was. Um, this is... Lair action still I got a 22. Happen. Okay. I feel you like... Know, I you know, I said that my one rolls were really good and now I was gonna suffer. <laughs> I got a critical fail or a 9, so that's a 13. Mm. Ophelia, you are slowed until the end of your next turn. Yay! So we can't... Oh, can it's... I add? Can I have Toast help Ophelia with that? I was gonna say I also have Dark Ones of Luck, so if you want okay, to hold yeah. on to Toast, you can, you can like, hold on, to, hold on to Toast. Okay. Uh, to so that is now a nineteen. That's does that save if it's a nineteen? It is a twenty, but since he's not here, I'll say it saves because he can't stop me. <laughs> As a treat. You can't stop me. Okay. Uh, so at the end of my turn, uh, end of this quote-unquote turn, he reappears. Uh, I'm ready to text. Okay, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna roll the damage for him, and then, go ahead, go ahead while you're doing that. I'm gonna roll damage for him, because I have a lot of damage for him. I'm realizing that, like, the boon means that I guess Toast also has advantage on this attack, that's great. Seven, Um, eight, nine, then ten. Thank you, Joaquin. I'm just gonna... I assume that he's gonna survive more than one hit. So okay. I'm gonna roll all my attacks. Do it. Yeah, I think that's that's reasonable. So that's one. 
So 18 on the die to hit. So that's a um, 35. Also, you take, you're taking 52 psychic damage when he reappears. Ah! 35 again. Uh, does a 20, 22 hits him, right? It's the number, yeah. Hey, okay. So, Toast rolled a 6 on his d6, which is like, yay, max damage. So, and then he has a second d6. God, everybody's just wailing on him the second he emerges. <laughs> Yeah. So this is the best part about Heroic Hell is that you guys all get to like crap. Like, <laughs> Toast's attack isn't like incredible, but he did roll he did roll um okay, I didn't need to do maths on this one. Yeah, go ahead. Hi Maharishi. Yeah, 14, 14 points of uh, piercing and then five points of force damage, so Oh thank you for that, the sub. Appreciate it. Oh thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Um what the hell? So Adara. Yeah, second, yeah. second attack. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I if to... you want Adara. Yeah, I'm sorry, just, just do your thing. Uh, I need to do, I need to talk through some math real quick. So, holy weapon, each hit does an extra 2d8 radiant damage on a hit. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm rolling 8d8 radiant damage. Mm -hmm. Then I'm rolling 4d8 for my regular sword. Um, obviously, I'm putting superiority dice into this, so I'm going to need him to make me a lot of wisdom saves. Uh, and that's forty twelve. Stop! Stop! He's already scared. I, I love how this is two people now rolling twelve d twelve. He's <laughs> immune to frighten. Oh, uh, then can Maybe. you be tripped? Let's try a strength save after okay. the next one. Okay. Let me know when you're done with your turn to Adara, because I have my action. How many ready of these are you making me roll, Adara? Four. Okay. Um, I am. Um, what is the DC? I'm so ready. 22. Yeah, what is... 22? 22? Is that what you said? Yeah. Your, your ankles must be so strong. I'm very strong. <laughs> okay. All Never skip leg day. One of them succeeded, so we're gonna use a legendary resistance for that one. Alright. So that was... Do you need me to separate out the radiant damage? Nope. Okay, so... 15 plus... Whoa. <gasps> this dice that has glitter liquid in it is the prettiest thing ever when it rolls. <laughs> Sounds like it'd be really pretty. The liquid centers, I always thought they were fascinating. 38, 46. Listen, Zan, we're chaotic, neutral. We're mostly chaotic and neutral, so this is neutral neither good. morally good nor evil, and even if it was a moral thing, I would not say it is lawful evil because he is an evil man. So therefore, this is a good He's action. He's probably lawful evil. <laughs> So this is a good action. <laughs> well, he's a dragon now, so he's chaotic evil. <laughs> if they cancel out, he's he neutral evil it. now. <laughs> uh, Zara, how much well, we did got... you hurt the dragon man? Um, a fair amount. I'm I'm doing some quick math still. Give me a sec. I've I need given up on uh. 148 damage. Okay. Yay! Triple digits club. <laughs> but that, Tori, I mean, what about you? That's every turn for me. I'm, I mean, I already did one of Toast's bites, so I can do Toast's second bite. Okay. Because I am I'm sacrificing Vittori doing massive damage just so Toast can bite a capitalist, because I think that's fun. Omit to the and bit. That's 20! Toast got Yay. the natural 20! Toast is the real god of this stream. <laughs> So, <laughs> Joaquin's uh, like, toast, yes. Toast, toast. Blessed. <laughs> so that's, uh... Joaquin has blessed your pupper. Um, he has, um, attacks pretty low compared to everyone else because he's just a dog. But, um, that's can fine. I actually... Can you, can, can you have holy damage as well? Sure. He's a, he's a good dog, Brent. <laughs> so max damage on 2d8 would be, um, 16. 16. So that'll be 36, and then I can roll more d one dice. <laughs> uh, that's, that's incredible. They're good dogs, uh, Brent. Damn, he, he rolled like nearly minimum damage on this dice, but that's Oh, fine. baby. It's okay, he's doing his uh, best. Oh, and also I need to roll the 2d8. They're all chaotic good dogs, Brent. I'm so glad I'm not <laughs> taking con saves for all of these hits. I'm, oh god, that's, yeah, That I'm was so my glad. main thing, is that I was like, I don't have dispel, like, dispel or anything, so I was like, I have to get him out of here 
So it yeah, almost um, stops being tethered to this man. Uh, Toast does 52 damage. <laughs> I like how you, like, he will close to minimum. 52. I mean, he did also crit, so, like... 52 was... out of 52! Well done, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone who's watched The Swan Princess, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, a Bobby that's in The Swan Princess? Is that what you're referencing? Mm. Are we talking about a different thing? The real Swan Princess movie. Excuse me, the Barbie movie is the real Swan Princess movie. How (laughs) dare you? Absolutely not. I will come to your house and fight you. How dare you? Come here. Okay. Uh, Is Toast done? Yeah, yeah, he's done. Okay, because I have a held action. Um, Underneath uh, her jacket, Ophelia is wearing the Burden of Purpose from Alexis, which is a ornate cummerbund with crimson rubies on it, so she is going to, like, straighten her cravat and uh, expel Force of Will. So he uh, is ejected from the area, because it is a 15-foot dome centered on myself, and I get to choose which creatures leave. So he's going. Uh, and Locked on Twitter. <laughs> locked and reported. Uh, so Adara Victorian, Victorian Toaster in the bubble. Uh, I have to roll... I'm going to roll that afterward. Um, but you... Is he undead, technically? Yes, he's a Draco Lich now. Do me a favor, make a make me a Constitution saving throw. Okay. There's a chance he's taking radiant damage from me just popping the bubble. <laughs> oh wow, he rolled for real, real badly on that, oh, yeah. which um feels bad, man. Twenty three. Okay, you know what? The DC is fifteen because Alexis gave these to us a while ago, but that is fine. Uh. <laughs> It is, uh, so we are now all surrounded by a bubble that has an AC of 18 and has hit points. Oh, nice. I forgot. I'm big. I roll more dice than that. <laughs> roll, roll your extra dice. Roll your extra Wait. dice. Well, I forgot I how much when health you forgot you're you big. When you uh, forget you big. No, never mind. That's the next, uh, that's the exalted form. I don't think we have oh, that. Okay. You can be exalted. It's fine. Oh, thanks. As a treat. We have, like, uh, six, right. we have six adventures left. You, you that's are exalted. true. Hang on. I'm... Uh... You're taking too long. I actually say, <laughs> sorry, yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, hang on. Hang on, I have, uh, so that thing has... That's the wrong thing. Okay, uh, let me see this. Hang on. Joaquin okay. conjures chains made out of this molten treasure and pins oh, him to yeah. the ground. So he is now restrained. Jesus, Love that. Bear the chains of your choosing. Uh, I love that. Also, as my bonus action, I'm gonna hit him again with the Blade of Disaster. Please do. <laughs> this is insult to injury. I forget. Does Restrain give me advantage? No, you just can't move, really. Okay. Well, I have advantage on that anyway, because thanks, Joaquin. Uh, appreciate it. I did pull it up. Restrained. Speed is zero. Oh, attacks have advantage, and his attack rolls oh, yeah. have disadvantage. I have double advantage! <laughs> No, it's just advantage once. You're fine. Okay. Um, so I think... Uh, so I got another crit, because that's an 18 on the die. So that's a 32. Okay. And then Incredible. I got a 10, so uh, that other one is a 24. So do both of them hit? Yes. Okay, I'm assuming 8... Does a 23 hit him? Yes. Does an 18 hit him? No. Okay, so he's actually taking damage three times. I didn't think a 23 was going to hit him. Okay! Uh, Poor man doesn't even get to take a turn. He bothered turning into a dragon. Yeah. Well, guess what? This is why you- this is- He was like, and now you die. And we were like, alright, we've seen how this story goes. No uh, you. Get him, boys. Uh, <laughs> you overhyped yourself. Okay, so right off the bat, that is 15 damage. Okay. Uh, I rolled two 12s on that, and then an 11 and a 10. It's 12. So that's- 30, that's 45 damage for that one. Uh, and then I have to roll my freaking six, uh, d12s again. Hang on a second. Yeah, would that would go. I just had it. Okay, there it is. I don't think it's going on before at this point. I've just accepted this. Uh, 10. That's another 12. 22, 23, 28, 37. Okay, that's 37 damage. And then... That's two more 12s. Uh, All 20, right. 24, 30, 35, 39, 41 damage. That's another 41 damage. Um, and I also did another 14 damage because I was big. 
I thought you were gonna say because I was based, and I'm like, yes, you are correct. <laughs> based. <laughs> you nearly explode the man. Oh yeah. As he deserves. Joaquin As he raises deserves. one hand and destroys the building you're in. Blowing right. apart the pocket dimension that you have been in this whole time since you entered oh. this back area. And shows uh, the gala hall where you are. She says, let's show the world the monster you are. Then cool. reaches into what little remains of his chest at this point, thrusts <laughs> her fingers through and wraps her them around his spine where his wings oh. meet and says, what are you but a middleman? And one who's a forgotten his place. <laughs> if money is all that you love, Jorgen thrashes violently and bursts into a shower of coins. Gold clatters on stone and echo with a miser's final scream. Joaquin. Why did I think of Sonic? Why did I think of Sonic? Off. Why did I think about Sonic when he gets hurt? She turns uh, to you and takes a knee to look the three of you in the eye. Uh, she doesn't really need Dara. to do for Dara. She's just, you know, <laughs> doing it out of politeness for the rest of you. And says, thank you for your assistance. You have my thanks and, gesturing to the pile of coins, my gratitude. And my axe. And my Glock. <laughs> Rising towards the crowd that is around you at this point, she says, trade, exchange, barter, share. This domain was mine before gold and will be mine long after. Should you choose it, you will find my blessing. Until then, and her eyes fall on a depiction of herself, with Lyra, I am needed. My people need me, lesbians go! <laughs> Let's go, lesbians! Let's go, lesbians! Let's... Oh <laughs> You're back at the party! There's Yay. a bunch of coins around you. What do you we do? We do a sick dance. Uh, gotta shovel them in the backpacks. <laughs> We yeah. shovel we shovel those in the backpack, and I'm absolutely uh, going up to that uh, giant steel tiger again. And uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it Izel? Izel? The name of Ezra's PC. Izel. How do you? Izel. Izel. And I'm gonna walk up and uh, ask her if she can explain to me like how exactly she makes this thing work because I still haven't gotten an answer on that, and I need to know. Izel. Oh, oh I was bad. I'm sorry, Ezra. Okay, thank you, Azra. What about the rest of you, Vittori, Adara, or Vittori, what do you do? I'm just dancing. <laughs> it's like the breakdancing dog, like the little cat meme in The Sims. And I, I, I think we just need to dance all the credits roll. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and that was the Golden Lady and a King of Dragons. By Margaret May. Yay! Thank Yay. you, Margaret. From thank Uncaged you. Goddesses. So, thank you so much for joining us tonight and, you know, every night. Stick around, because uh, we're going to do a raid uh, and shoot our behind-the-scenes Patreon video, and you can find more about that on our Patreon. But first, uh, let's find out where you can meet these wonderful people Starting with, oh god, I don't even know what order to do this because you all did such a murder. Uh, let's start with Ophelia. Who are you in the real life and where can we find you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ink. You can find me at Twitter at These Dead Pens, which will link you to my other things. I am a writer and illustrator and a sensitivity consultant, and uh, I got to do some art for Uncaged Goddesses, uh, which was wonderful. Uh, you can find a lot of my stuff and a lot of advocacy stuff linked on my Twitter, and like I said, that'll lead you to my other stuff, including my card, 
so on and so forth. Uh, I also want to point out, thank you to uh, Azra in chat for pointing out, I did a bad earlier and I said something uh, that ha that is seeped in anti-Semitism and I'm sorry about that and I thank Azra for pointing that out. That was my bad. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Vittori, who are you in the real life? Where can we find you? Hello. In the real life, I am Draz. You can find me on Twitter at Drazillion, where I post art because all of my writing is under NDA. And that's oh, no. really all there is to me right now. And uh, Adara, who are you in the real life? Where can we find you? I'm Gwendy B all over the internet, and you can find me sometimes on Twitter where I post illustrations because I'm an illustrator. And, and I'm, I'm no longer winning. A award-winning illustrator. These are two of the three Ennies I have. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, find me on Twitter. I post art, and I'm no longer harassing everyone to vote us vote for us at the Ennies because that already happened. So, um, if you did vote, thank you. Uh, that's cool. Oh, I forgot the game hurt. The game hurt. Oh, oh yeah. Awards are open oh. for nomination now too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to nominate us for the game her awards, uh, feel free to do that. We were nominated last year. We didn't win, but it was still pretty neat. And we still we don't know who the We still don't know who nominated, nominated us. us. Show it. Yeah. Show yourself, coward. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Uh, and Ink dropped me in there. So, hey, I'm Jess. Uh, I'm an any award-winning writing director for Uncaged Goddesses. Uh, and I also stream and stuff, but uh, I everything that I have is secret right now. Although, actually... Between now and our next adventure, I will have had a thing come out, so I could talk about it. Uh, the Spell Jammers Cookbook is coming to DMs Ooh. Guild on, oh. I believe, August 16th, and it is Spell Jammer subclasses and recipes. So if you Ooh. like jam and you like Spell Jammer, uh, grab that. I wrote uh, College of the Shanty Bard and Way of the Astral Soul Sorcerer. Uh, using Ooh. the Phlogistead, which is not in Spelljammer anymore, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but thank you for joining us tonight, and, you know, every night that we're here. Next week, we will be playing I Know Her Name by Michael Reed. And now we're going to go shoot our uh, behind-the-scenes Patreon video. Like I said, support us on Patreon to get access to that fun stuff. And we are going to go raid Paintbrush Tales. She's playing Calico. So let's go give her a three fee hello and everybody have a wonderful night. We love you so much. Take care and uh, support your local union. Oh yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.